Yes, we're here. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to uh, your buddy Uncle Bruce as he tries to adjust his uh, his uh, sweatshirt. It doesn't work. How you doing? Uh, nice to see you. Uh, it's Monday morning, uh, January the 24th, um, 2022. Uh, we're getting ready to open up here in an hour following a lot of stuff. Uh, we have uh, the Dow uh, off all morning in the pre-market. We're down 158 right now, which is about 0.46 of a percentage point, half a point. S&P is off 36 and a half points. That is a drop of 0.83 of a percent. And NASDAQ is indicating uh, a drop of 184, and that would be 1.29%. And again, the NASDAQ is leading the market lower it's the worst performer the the top 100 nasdaq stocks this is the nasdaq 100 index it's only 100 shares but it is dominated by um, tech uh, high growth disruptor type companies uh, that are on their way up um, these guys are getting hammered and um, if you were here uh, or you happen to catch my show my surprise hi how are you saturday show where I did a recap of the uh, markets uh, for the week. Um, I was talking about the VIX index, uh, which is sort of known as the fear index, and how it's uh, how it's been rising, and um, mentioning how shares have backed off. I also um, the, I clarified something else for you guys, and I'm going to mention this again this morning. I talked to you about um, uh, the Kathy Woods uh, ETF that's out there. A lot of um, uh, a lot of observers of the market, I guess we'll call them. I uh, guess I'm one. I'm a plain English, in plain English observer. Um, ARK Innovation Funds, which symbol is A R K K. ARK Innovation Funds is um, uh, is watched quite closely by a lot of analysts and a lot of market people to kind of gauge how the Nasdaq 100 is doing, except for. Uh, seven of the uh, six of the seven dominant stocks that dominate the S the Nasdaq 100. I keep wanting to say S and P, but it's Nasdaq 100. For example, of the 100 shares that make up the Nasdaq market, um, the seven I'm going to tell you about make up 48 percent of the index. Uh, the index's moves uh, that would be Apple, Microsoft, the second one, Facebook, Metaverse. Google, um, Tesla, there's five, Amazon is six, and NVIDIA is seven. Those seven stocks make up 48% of the entire NASDAQ index. Okay, So if the NASDAQ goes up or down, these guys can move, the, can move that index higher or lower. Just these seven can move basically half this index. The other half of the index is made up of the other 93 companies just to kind of give you that. Now, the ARK Innovation ETF, the reason I mentioned that particular one, Kathy Wood's ARK Innovation, that fund owns um, mostly the 93 others except for one stock that makes the top seven, and that's Tesla, which happens to be its largest holding. They own 10% of their fund, what, about $16 billion worth of the fund. 1.6 billion of those dollars are in Tesla. The remaining 90% of the fund is held. They only hold the 93 other companies of the uh, NASDAQ 100. So they don't own Apple and Microsoft, Google, and so on. Well, this fund, uh, people like myself and others, we watch it quite closely because we're noticing how badly the fund is doing. Uh, we're noticing that... Um, um, a, 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 a R K K. I'm just going to punch that in here right now and so show you what we've got. Uh, just hang on a second here. On the fly, A R K K. Here we go. That fund is trading right now at sixty-eight dollars and seventy cents. It's down two eighty-two. The high and low for this fund, uh, the high in the last week, year, one fifty-nine seventy. The low seventy-one forty-nine as of Friday night uh, during the market hours, but in this pre-market, it is sixty-eight sixty-two. It's down four percent this morning, and this fund is getting hammered um, because, of course, Tesla was twelve hundred a share a few weeks ago. Now it's in the low nines, but uh, 
Other stocks this fund has would be Coinbase, Teladoc Health, Unity Software, Roku Inc., Zoom Video, Shopify, uh, Spotify, Exact Sciences, Sciences, Twillow, and others. These are these are some of the names that uh, that the uh, that this entity has, and just Coinbase, its second largest holding. Um, the uh, pre market right now for Coinbase is down twenty two dollars a share at one seventy fifty. Uh, down 11%. Coinbase's 52-week range is a high of $429, low of $186, now pre-marketing at $170. So um, this morning's sell-off that we're witnessing here um, in, in just inside ARC, uh, inside the, S, the NASDAQ 100 and others are companies that either are not making money who are trading at billions of dollars of market valuation, trading at incredibly high potential PEs or very high sales projections. And these are the stocks that the street is getting out of to move into the stocks that have much lower PE multiples, much more stable business. So we're talking Johnson & Johnson. Um, in the old days, I would have said Kraft Foods, Campbell Soup, cigarette stocks, uh, um, uh, insurance companies, banks. You you would go into that area. You'd go into you, from high growth to to the staples, the real staples. So you walk inside a Safeway store or an Albertson store or a Publix store, any grocery store. You walk up and down the aisleways and you see the brands that are for sale, like Coca Cola, Pepsi. Lay's potato chip. We eat seven days a week, three times a day, and we snack. Okay, and if we're in North America, we eat all the time. And you just go up and down the hallways, the aisleways of these grocery stores to find the staple stocks to buy. You find the corporations that produce this stuff, distribute this stuff, distribute the stuff, and that's who you pick up. You offload the highfalutin. The thing is, though. <laughs> When you have a stock like Coinbase um, down $170 a share in the pre-market this morning, uh, there's a little voice in the back of a number of uh, hedge fund investors' heads that say, you know, this isn't a bad buy down here. <laughs> this might not be such a bad buy at all. Uh, the stock is uh, really low uh, compared to where it's been last uh, year or so from its, in, in, its in, in, in inception and its listing. Maybe this is where you buy this stuff because, of course, um, uh, most investors are panicking who are selling here. Anyone selling at 170.90 on Coinbase is you're nuts. You're out of your mind, but they're probably not wanting to sell their shares of Coinbase. They're being made to sell their shares of Coinbase. This isn't like... The brokerage firm isn't asking you that to for you to liquidate your account for margin calls. They're telling you, that, or they are liquidating you, to get you out because you owe them more money than your stock is worth. That could be the reason. But anyway, there are buyers. You cannot have this stock trading at one hundred and seventy dollars unless there are buyers buying it. It's it's you got to have a buyer to ma match a seller, or you have no trades. And there are there is someone, something, entities, people, whatever buying Coinbase and they're buying the other stocks that make up the, uh, for example, the Kathy Woods uh, ARK Innovations uh, uh, fund. There are other buyers. And so we're watching to see just, you know, what's going to be the fallout and how far and how bad. Zoom video, for example, is down $4.67 this morning to one forty three. The low, one forty seven. The high, four. 51. You can see where the bloodletting has come from on these markets. Uh, Spotify. I'm just I'm just randomly picking symbols here because I'm seeing the list of ARK's uh, investments. Uh, Spotify down 553 to 190 a share. Uh, 52 week range 194 on Friday night. 387 for the high. Um, people are asking me, is this is this a crash? Is this a crash? Well, if you look at the indexes, we say no because the indexes are only off fractionally, uh, small percentage terms overall. Look at Twillow, 185 a share down 686. The low on Friday was 191. The high 457. But these companies, it's a crash. I mean, if you ask the uh, shareholders of Twillow, 
and uh, Coinbase and uh, others, hey, is the market in a crash? They're going to go, yeah, like uh, this thing was 400 something a share and now it's 150. Yeah, they're getting their butts handed to them. No question about it. But these companies are not bad companies. These companies aren't, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, stupid idea type companies. These, these entities are are up and comers. These are the future of, of uh, you know, part of our economy going down the road. But at the moment, they are out of favor. And that is the bottom line here. They are out of favor when it comes to um, the current um, stock environment, I guess I have to say. Now, coming back to a little closer to home where we are, we're following stocks that uh, were SPACs or not SPACs anymore, uh, but we've got issues uh, that you know, stocks we're following. For example, Rocket Lab right now, pre-market 856 down 44 cents, closed down 73 on Friday to $9. So we were 973 on Thursday, 856 this morning. Uh, do I call that bar a bargoon? Yeah, I call that a bargoon, but is this a rocket lab issue? Is 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 management at Rocket Lab doing something wrong? Is do 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 companies not want to launch satellites anymore into outer space? No, the, 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 this is not a corporate issue for Rocket Lab. It's a shareholder problem for Rocket Lab. That's what we have. SoFi, classic example right here on SoFi. We're trading up twelve ninety two in the pre market, down ninety eight cents, twelve ninety one right now. Uh, near the low of the morning on 2.3 million shares. Now, <laughs> there are two football games coming up at SoFi Stadium. Uh, we've got the uh, the uh, championship game coming. Is it the N NFC or AFC? One of the two. And then the Super Bowl. But that doesn't matter uh, because SoFi, it, as, as a corporation, doesn't have any actual issues. It, they just got their bank charter last week. As a matter of fact, they're doing great. Uh, but SoFi's problem is its shareholders, um, not those of you who are watching me, you guys aren't the problem. You guys are actually the good guys in this whole thing. Most of you who watch me uh, every day, five days a week, you have heard me, uh, you know, very sternly tell you, do not use margin to buy anything um, and use cash only and only invest what you can afford to lose in any issue you put your, you know, any situation you put your money into. But with SoFi, you know my position on SoFi. I love this company. I think this this corporation is going to do great. The reality, though, is the shareholders have to be able to wait out the win. And right now, we've got issues with with all kinds of stocks, not just the stocks we're following here, but all of it where shareholders are having problems right now. And I believe that one of the biggest problems right now in the in the market. Uh, and I will keep pounding this until someone proves me wrong, but I'm convinced that there are, I think, hundreds, not dozens, not 15 or 20, hundreds of hedge funds globally that are leveraged right up there, 10 to 1, 15 to 1, 20 to 1, 31, 41, leverage with all kinds of derivative trades that they were using to try to make their big scores and everything was working great it was working great until about oh three months ago and then when the fed began to announce that they're thinking of tightening and they're thinking of of, of raising rates and, and lowering their balance sheet this upset the apple cart in the derivatives market in the futures market in the currencies in the bond the bond market, like you can't believe. And there are a whole bunch of hundreds of hedge funds with trillions of dollars, all right? The T word, trillions of dollars of assets are leveraged like you cannot believe because they had to be leveraged to make any kind of money. Because if you buy a, a 10 year treasury for 1.6%, um, inflation is five, six percent. You're losing money. You're buying treasuries, uh, European treasuries. You're buying German treasuries. They're negative yields. So for you to make money on these instruments, uh, the futures of interest rates or, or currencies, you got to leverage up. And so um, when I was a broker, by the way, just kind of bring you back 
back to the 80s, <laughs> 1980s, before many of you were born. Um, in the 1980s, uh, I, I could take a client and say to a client, uh, listen, um, uh, looks like bond prices might be going up here in the next little while. Interest rates are falling and bond prices could go up. Um, we could buy uh, Government of Canada Treasury bonds or United States Treasury bonds, as an example. And we only had to put up 10% margin. So if you wanted to buy a million dollars worth of U.S. Treasuries or a million dollars of Government of Canada U.S. Treasury, uh, Government of Canada Treasuries in Canadian dollars or American and American dollars, we only had to put up a hundred thousand bucks. That's all we had to put up. So for a hundred grand, you could leverage a million in bonds. Now I'm not a, I wasn't a bond trader. I've never been a bond trader, but I'm aware of the bond guys out there. And there were bond traders who would have, you know, clients of theirs who were real gamblers, uh, drop a million bucks with them and say, I want to buy and sell U.S. Treasuries. And uh, they would buy and sell $5 million of U.S. Treasuries at a time using uh, 500,000 of their million that they had. They had a million bucks on deposit. And they were using 500 thousand of that on a 10 to 1 ratio and they were looking for a, a the slightest increase in value for their for their treasuries because they were leveraged 10 to 1 if the treasuries a uh, five million dollars in treasuries went up in value 50 grand in a, in a couple of days they'd make a half a million dollars serious money but on the other hand if it went the opposite direction they'd lose that kind of money and there are also options on these things futures and um, it was a wild west game baby and there was more money in that than in the stock market I, i'll tell you it, it's wild today um i will uh, i will uh, guesstimate that uh, there are firms out there who are playing treasuries currencies you name it uh, with way more than 10 for one leverage, way more. And the derivatives market is the way to go because it's completely unregulated. The US, uh, US SEC doesn't have any authority over it. Um, it's a, it is the wild west of investing. And there are trillions, and I'm not talking one or two or three trillions, I'm talking tens of trillions of dollars, maybe hundreds of trillions of leveraged dollars, all pretend dollars that everyone's trying to get a piece of. It is scary. There are winners, there are losers. Uh, when you lose though, you could lose more money than your fund is worth and now you're upside down and now we've got banks having problems because banks now have to collect the what's the leftovers and this is where you get the horror stories that we hear from time to time where Credit Suisse or HSBC or whoever lost a billion dollars of their capital because one of their customers was heavily leveraged in whatever they were leveraged in. They were unaware of how over leveraged they were. And then all of a sudden when it all falls out, they realize, oh gosh, they owe us $4 billion and we can only recover 3 billion of the four. We thought they had 20. Yeah, well, the others, it all evaporated into thin air because they were over leveraged by 10 times that. Unbelievable. Um, we're watching for that. Anyway, right now, SoFi is down 98 cents to 12.92. GameStop down 7.36 to 99 dollars a share. GameStop, we are watching to see if we're going to test the low on Friday. 92, I think it's 70, 92.72 was the low on Friday. We're all waiting. I'm waiting to see if GameStop wants to do a test right away, right off the bat. Are we going to test 92.72? Or are we just going to reach about 94, 95 and then kind of pop up again into the 1, 105 level? Or are we going to go down to 92 and then down to 86? This is what the big question is. And then what happens? What happens if we do hit 86? Do we now dead cat bounce to 97, 99? Can't break through 100 or we get to 100 just over it and then we dead, go right back down to 86 again? Those of you who are option writers, you know what we're, we've already talked about this. If you've been with me this morning on the Gold Bagel member pre-show, we talked about all this already. Um, Matterport off 81 cents to 9.52. We've got uh, 23 Me down 30 cents to 4.20. Spire off uh, nickel at 2.17. Uh, ATIP is off uh, 18 cents to 3.20. 
Smart Rent looks like it's down 11 cents at $7. Sixtera is down six cents at 1080. Next stock, Apple. They are coming out with their earnings on Thursday. Apple comes out Thursday with their earnings. And uh, I am uh, watching this and saying to anyone out there, if you want to write poor man covered call options on Apple, this could be the week of weeks where you scoop up super cheap in the money call options <clears throat> that go through this summer, this fall uh, for some cheap uh, cheap exercise prices. I, I remember this stock hit a high of what, 184 this year already? I think Apple was, I think Apple was at 184 for the high of the year. Um, now we're sitting here at, um, at the low, low price of 159.46 as I am frantically trying to get my machine to work here. Here we go. Yeah, the high 182.94, just under 183. We're at 159. Uh, we're down $23 a share from the high of the year. Uh, I don't know what downside potential we have. Could we reach the low 150s? Uh, boy, I, I would sure hope so because if it does do that, and you can scoop uh, 110s, 100s uh, deep in the money calls for cheap money. Um, great. Uh, Thursday come come the numbers. If the shares have already done the drop, um, there's there's nothing but upside the next two weeks on the stock. Back to the 160 level, and you're writing 162, 164s, 165s against the contract you, you bought when it was 152, 53. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, Goldman down 592 at 338. I'm just waiting for that stock to have a recovery. Uh, you've had the pre earnings sell off. You had the sell off after the earnings came out. Uh, the company makes all kinds of money. Interest rates are rumored to go higher. These guys are going to make more money with higher rates, and the stock is off. That's telling me the disconnect between the company and its shareholders. And uh, these don't last long. So turnaround is imminent. Cisco up 35 cents this morning. How about them apples? Uh, Cisco is not uh, not in any trouble. Um, interesting how that works. Uh, they, they don't have a shareholder problem uh, like other stocks. Interesting. Uh, again, this one is has been a buy, uh, still a buy on long-term in-the-money contracts. And then you write short-term calls against it. Tesla down $53 in the pre-market. $890 a share right now is what I'm uh, looking at on uh, on uh, tesla uh, earnings coming up tesla will be on uh hang on a second i got it right here i got it i got it it's a wednesday wednesday tesla comes up with their earnings we come out uh, late tonight we get ibm we already have already had halliburton halliburton beat the street uh we uh, we got tomorrow general electric johnson and johnson lawheed martin american express and microsoft wednesday boeing tesla intel and then Powell release uh, has a press conference about the minutes of the Fed. Um, Thursday, Apple and McDonald's. And then Friday, we get here from Chevron and Caterpillar. All those companies are coming up with their financials this week. Uh, those are the big boys. Uh, there's uh, hundreds of others coming up with numbers as well. So we'll watch and see what gives. Um, my advice to you all, uh, here's here's what here's the, the least thing you do. Uh, here's the, the the basic thing you do nothing <laughs> that's the first that's my first piece of advice my first piece of advice to you is do nothing just don't sell a thing don't even blink just sit there and take it just sit there and take it and this is this is where you're earning your money you are sitting here going i don't like it down here geez i hate it down here but you don't do a dang thing you're not giving stock away to anybody at any price I don't recommend you shifting from one to another. I wouldn't recommend that either. I recommend you sit tight and don't blink. Um, if you have cash and you're doing bargain hunting, great. You're bargain hunting. Yes, stink bid time. Beautiful. Average down. Find deals, whether they're stocks, uh, options on stocks. Yeah. And then for you writers out there, um, you are snipers and you are looking for your opportunity to, to get a kill. And uh, right now, uh, those of you who wrote contracts on GameStop on Friday, as I was mentioning, Thursday and Friday, there are some of you out there who wrote uh, 95s, one, up to 100s, 105s, 110s. Some of you may have written 115s that all expire this week or next week or the week after. 
look for the opening and see what this stock wants to give us right now the pre-market we're right at 100 a share we've been into the 98s already this thing wants to do a dip to 94 95 that's all it's got your contracts will reach a certain level uh and that could well be for you anywhere from 40 to 80 percent profit depending on what you wrote and when you wrote it and what you got for it put in your stink bids to score some cheap buy prices on your contracts because I can't tell you how long any kind of a dip is going to last if we get a dip. I don't know if we're getting a one hour opening sell off and we bought them out and then we hit the trough for a wee, half a half a day or two and then an hour or so later we begin our rise and we get it all back and we pop, pop up again. It could be that on GameStop we reach 9350 for like a minute, 2 minutes. We're back to 95, 96, hang out there for an hour. And then we come back into the 1103, 105 range uh, after lunch today. Um, and you didn't do anything? No, 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 no. That That is unacceptable. If you've written calls, you should be buying them off first thing this morning if this market's going to give this to you. So <clears throat> get your stink bids in there on your game stops. If you've written contracts on any other stocks, put your stink bids in this morning and score your 50% gain, 60, 70, whatever whatever it looks like take the money off the table and get ready to write again on strength any kind of improvement let's see where it goes and we'll watch the volumes and the markets and everything else i'm only showing 77,000 volume on gamestop that's it this is the pre-market 77,000 this is this is good we're, we're down 636 on gamestop on 77,000 shares there's nobody brave enough to put in a hundred thousand share buy order right now at least not in the pre-market there could be somebody on the opening but i i don't see it i don't know all right the dow right now showing down 248 as we continue our uh, decline before we open for the day we're opening in 32 minutes uh we're down 0.73 uh of a percentage point s and p index is now showing sp 500 down 45 three quarters that's 1%. We got NASDAQ down 207 points, down 1.43. So the NASDAQ is off twice as much as the Dow is off in percentages, 1.4% to 0.7. Just to keep this in perspective, okay? That's what's going on. All right. Uh, there's this, there's that. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> uh yeah i love this here oh my god the market's crashing i love it uh, bye 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 let's go down some more matterport so far everything oh fire sale need to borrow money to buy everything <laughs> that's almost the right attitude to have that's almost the right attitude right there um absolutely um yep here we go i am diamond handing my july calls on so they better not be below 12 bucks by then darn it there you go <laughs> uh wow we well you know we'll see how the market wants to start like i said um uh, uh, the day the week uh, uh i'm looking for uh again the possibility of a drop off to start the morning from what everything i see which actually is healthy i want <clears throat> i want to flush out i want loose hands to be blown away i, I want to see all of those SPACs that were into those former SPACs, I want all those loosey-goosey shareholders to be blown away this morning. That would be great. That would be great. Because once they're gone, they don't come back. They're finito. Fin 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 they're gonzo. Now the shares are in solid hands, and we now see bargain hunters coming and going, where's all this cheap paper? And they're paying, you know, more tomorrow than they could have bought them for today. And uh, we begin a, uh, we begin a uh, recovery move um we'll see um again on 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 uh, gamestop it could be that we reach the the low of friday 9272 it's possible we could break it it's possible uh we may not reach it and we might reach 93 94 and then bump back up again if we do maybe we bump up to 15 110 112 over the next day or two you're gonna write 115s 110 for friday or it's Friday after, you're going to scoop the, pre the depreciation of the contract because we're going to fluctuate between 95 and 110 for a while. That could be well well the movement here, could well be our movement for the next uh, week. And uh, I want you to pull in three, four dollars, five dollars every swing if I can. If I can get you to do uh, three, four dollar swings over the next uh, week and a half, two weeks, you can do four or five of them. 
we're putting some money into your account here. And that's what it's all about. Uh, you know, even if you got one call, you can make $400 a call and you write one every day, making 400 a day for the next five, six trading days. Thank you for the free cash. You want to use that $2,500 and buy stock at $100 a share? Knock yourself out. You just bought some free stock from the street. You're doing yourself a favor by buying it up down here from the money from the option traders. Thank you, option traders. Those of you who are writing five contracts at a time on GameStop, you're scoring $2,000 a swing. You get four or five of those this week. There's eight, 10 grand for you. Not a bad week. Um, picking off a stock at $100 a pop. That's 100 shares. You're going to write another contract now. So how about that? Uh, by the way, speaking of buying and selling contracts and buying and selling uh, in, uh, poor man covered calls, as I was mentioning earlier about uh, GameStop and Apple, um, we have a class this Saturday. Uh, Uncle Bruce and Auntie Jen will be on the air live for a classroom session, 10 o'clock Eastern time, Saturday morning. Wake up, kids. Get your coffee going. We got the class starting at 10 a.m. Uh, the name of this class... I came up with all kinds of I tried to come up with a title, you know. Uh, the one I settled on was using the poor man covered call writing strategies to quit your day job. That was the uh, strat that was the title of this weekend's class, Saturday's class, starting at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. If you would like to be a member of the live audience and be a be in the be in the classroom with us live, just like we are live here, where you're giving us questions, uh, Jen will be the moderator. She'll take your questions. And uh, she'll read three, four, five, six, seven of them, ten of them at a time, and she'll come up with uh, consensus questions for me to to answer while I'm doing my presentation to you. Uh, by all means, uh, send me a um, send me an email at brucefromert at hotmail .com right here. Say, Uncle Bruce, I want to be in the class. I've been in your classes before, or I've watched your classes before. But this time I want to be in the class. I want to be live <clears throat> because I'm going to have specific questions that I'm going to pre-write down before the classes even begin. <clears throat> and I want you to address exactly what I need to, to uh, understand about poor man covered calls, the 90-10% rule, how and when to write uh, uh, poor man covered calls. How can I quit my day job being a writer of call options as a poor man covered call trader? Because I'll tell you right now, Bruce, I want to quit my job so bad. I don't want to work for my employer anymore. I really just want to be a consultant to this company, or I really would rather just have a part-time job on the side uh, for some pocket money kind of thing, and I want to earn the wealth, the majority of my wealth uh, writing call options. I need to see, I need to be involved in this class. If you would like to be in the class, send me a private email right here. Say, Bruce, I'm in, I'm in, I want in, I want in. You're going to need to send me a $150 donation on PayPal. The link should be below, where is it? I, I think I did a community notification on Saturday about the class. I'll do another one today. Uh, but you know that down below this video, there's the link for PayPal. Send a $150 donation there. That gets you into the class. That also then guarantees you a copy of the edited lesson once it's up on the website later next week. And so you'll get that as well. So you're in the live class and you have an edited version of the class to watch anytime you want going forward. And away we go. So um, appreciate all of you who have expressed an interest already. A uh, bunch of you have already reached out to me and said, oh, yeah, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. What do I do? What do I do? And uh, we will get you in there to uh, to enjoy the uh, to enjoy the class. I look forward to uh, having you pop in. And as I say, Jennifer will be the uh, the administrator, the the, uh, the person administrating it and, and monitoring everything. And she'll uh, she'll handle all those requests. And I look forward to seeing you. Thank you, by the way, for 190 thumbs ups already. If you're popping in with a thumbs up, tell me what number are you? Say hi to me and say, Bruce, I'm thumbs up number 194. Love to know. Uh, we want to hit a thousand thumbs ups this week. I don't know if we're going to make it, but I sure like to hit a thousand thumbs ups again on these channel shows. So hopefully we can get that high. Hit the thumbs up button as soon as you can. Give us some momentum and We'll attract new viewers, additional viewers to this show. We're at a pre-market right now with 25 minutes to go. We've got Rocket Lab down 44 cents to 8.56. We have SoFi down 98 cents to 
92. We've got GameStop down $7.36 at $99. Matterport off 81 cents, 9.52 last trade. 23andMe off 30 cents at 420. Spire Global down a nickel at 217. ATIP down 17. It looks like about 18 cents to 320. Smart Rent down 11 cents to $7. Sextera down 6 at 1080. Apple still showing a negative 295 at 159.46. Eric Rise, you're in class. Um, we've got uh, Apple, like I said, down 295 at 159. Goldman down 592, 338 uh, last trade. Cisco up 35 cents, uh, 5703. Tesla down $53 to $890.85. Uh, All righty. Um, some of you are absolutely jumping in on the class right away and not leaving it. There's a limited number of seats available. It can only handle so many people in the live class. And um, as I say, I give you the green light now that if you want in, make a donation on PayPal for 150 bucks. Send us an email and we will then add you to the list of the folks who will receive your link to the class about 15, 20 minutes before the class begins. You're going to get an email uh, showing you the link that you're going to click on. You'll click on the link and boom, you're right here with me, just like watching this show right here, except behind me will be a whiteboard as we begin a two-hour session. It'll be about a two, two and a half hour session approximately. You can come and go all you want if you want. You can hang around for the first hour and leave if you want. It's up to you. Um, but once you're once you've made your payment and you're you're in there, um, you will also then get the link to the class once we post the class up on the website. And that should be, oh I guess Emily, Emily and I'll get that figured out by Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe, and we'll have it up. And then anyone can watch the class uh, after that. There are 100, it'll be $100 once it's edited on the website. But for $150, you're in the live session and you can, you can ask questions. So there you go. I look forward to all of you uh, coming by and joining Jennifer and I. Um, the first 10 classes uh, were a blast. Now we're doing uh, several more, starting with this one on Saturday at 10 a.m., this Saturday, Eastern Time. That's New York Time, 10 o'clock. That's 7 o'clock LA time. Get up early. Uh, 8 o'clock in, uh, what was that, Mountain Time. Uh, uh, 9 o'clock Central, 10 o'clock Eastern. Is that, am I got that right? There's four. I, I think I got that right. Anyway, there you go. I don't know what time it is in Hawaii. I, and I know that in Britain, the UK, it'll be, what, five hours later or something like that, or like three in the afternoon, maybe, uh, maybe four in the afternoon, and in Germany, four or five in the afternoon. There you go. So for my European friends, how about, how convenient is this uh, class that you guys can join me on in the middle of your day on a Saturday? Talk about uh, handy. Um, and if you're in, uh, if you're in the Middle East, uh, it'll be in the... Uh, the latter part of the afternoon, uh, pretty nice. So anyway, there you go. You're you're welcome, everybody. Thank you all. There you go. Um, and uh, here we go. H. Gregory, do you think it would be a good idea to get out of my GameStop shares, use the proceeds, and put that same money for GameStop long calls so I can write poor man covered calls, or should I just have shares and long calls? There's, there's the question. Well, um, H. Uh, Gregory... Uh, uh, you know, I would be writing call uh, writing calls on GameStop to bring in cash to then use to diversify your portfolio. That's really the long term game plan. I understand, you know, you want to do poor man covered calls, but the problem with poor man covered calls for GameStop is you have to buy in the money calls, and in the money GameStop calls usually have such a high premium added to them on top of the book value that it's rather difficult to uh, overcome the shrinkage of time value uh, against the income you could bring in. Now, it depends how aggressive a, a trader you are. I mean, I know there are some of you out there who swear to me you're investors, but what you really are <laughs> are riverboat gamblers. It's okay, whatever works for you. I, I, I don't judge, it's up to you. Uh, but if you're gonna buy in the money calls, say, 70s or 60s on GameStop or even 80s, 
you're going to write uh, short-term calls against those calls. You have to have a, a, a real quick trigger finger to uh, make your purchase, do your writing, do your cover, cover up your calls that you've written and rewrite again. And you might be in and out of your long-term calls depending on how the market reacts. Um, I don't condone selling stock to, to buy deep in the money calls that have a high premium on them to use as, as uh, a short term uh, for, to, to write short term cover calls. It's not the way I've been uh, preaching here. I would rather you buy deep in the money calls on Goldman Sachs, on Apple, on, on Microsoft, uh, Facebook, uh, IBM, uh, Cisco. Um, pick off some deep in the money calls on these kinds of companies. Uh, you're going to be around a while, a long while with that. And um, um, playing the, 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 the nitroglycerin game uh, with GameStop on, on calls to then write calls against those calls, that is uh, not a conservative strategy at all. And uh, I would be, uh, you know, I'd rather you just buy stock at 100 a share. Get 100 shares and write calls against the $100 uh, contract. You know, you just so you know, folks, I mean, I'll just throw this at you here for interest's sake, okay? Just for just for poops and scoops, you know? Uh, poops and giggles. Um, here, um, let me show you what you could do in theory, all right? You could buy, let's say you bought a, you bought stock in, in GameStop right now, bought $100, stock at 100 bucks a share, that's where it's trading at. So you bought stock at $100 a share, all right? Um, on Friday night, when we closed for trading, uh, was the last time I saw trades and quotes, um, you could write calls against GameStop for next year, January, January 2023, a year up. Um, buy the stock, uh, you could have bought the stock at uh, about 100, 105, 106 bucks a share Friday night. And you would have been able to write $110 contracts where if you were exercised, you guaranteed make $5 a share because you bought 105, you'd be taken out at 110. Uh, but you would receive a premium, uh, an option premium for one year um, of about $41 a share. So actually you would be selling for 154, 110 plus 40, uh, no 51, 151, 110 a share for the strike price. $41 for the premium, you'd be selling your stock for $154. Now, that's not a guarantee that you'll be exercised. You're offering your stock at $110 for a year, and the option gambler is giving you $41 a share right now, $4,100 for that one contract, and will say to you, I'll, I want the option to buy your stock from you for $110 for the next year. Here's $4,100 in the meantime. You can do whatever you want with that forty-one hundred dollars. Now, think about that. You put up ten thousand five hundred dollars, and you got forty-one hundred dollars in cash to sell your stock for five dollars more than you just bought it for. Talk about a risk-free offer on that side. That's pretty good insurance for you because if the shares go down to eighty dollars a share, let's just say. Um, you just got paid $41 in cash. I mean, you take the $105 price you would have paid Friday night for the stock. You just paid $64 for the stock, really. Take $41 off the 105 price that you paid for. You're into the stock for 64 bucks. So the stock can go all the way down to 64 between now and next year, January. And if it's sitting at under $64 a year from now, you lose money. So if it's trading at $60, you lost $4 on your investment for the whole year. But if the stock is at $100 a year from now, it doesn't, doesn't change. It's still at $105, what you paid for. Uh, that contract won't be exercised. You get to keep the $4,100. So you got your stock worth $10,500. That's what you paid for. And you got 4,100 cash, that's all yours. The option expired worthless. You made $4,100 on a $10,500 investment. That's almost 40% on your money. 40% on your money. Just kind of let that register. If you want to write 120s, uh, you would have received like $38 for 120s. So you make $15 on the stock because you bought at 105, you get taken out at 120 in theory here. You would be taken out. 
And then you got 38 cash up front. So you're really getting 158 on that deal, just, just to give you an idea. You could write 150s and bring in about $33 for 150s. That's selling at 183. So is there something wrong with buying the stock at 100 and offering it for $183? You know what I say? There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong. Now, if you want to buy 1,000 shares of GameStop today, $100,000 investment, right? 10 times $100. Um, you buy 100 grand worth of GameStop, you write 10 call contracts for next January at 150, and you're bringing in approximately, say, $31, $31,000. So you're paying 100 to get 31,000 back, you're into the stock for $69,000 for 1,000 shares, $69 a share. That's what you're into it for. And you've agreed, you have agreed to be taken out at a hundred and fifty dollars a share, and your cost is sixty nine. Yeah, it's a ninety thousand dollar profit on this entire deal. Fifty bucks on the stock, and thirty on the contract. It's eighty grand, eighty grand profit. Not not a bad return on a hundred thousand bucks, don't you think? Just just saying. If you want to go further out, and you can, uh, you could look at January twenty twenty fours. That's another year out. Uh, these are you know way out there. Um, 150s, those will bring in about $4,300, uh, the 120s will bring you about $52, and the 110s, you know, right, right around here, uh, about $55, um, $5,500 a contract. That's half the money for the stock. That's half of the cost of the stock. So even if you're writing a 110 contract and getting 55 cash, to do that, you're getting 165 to, to buy it now for 100 and sell it and offer it for 165 for two years. That's two years, not one year. I like the, I like next year's more than two years out, but just give you an idea of what you could be doing if you're a shareholder of this stock, uh, which has come down in price, admittedly, sub substantially, but these contracts, these premiums are nuts. They're incredible. Just, just saying. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff going on here, okay? All righty, let's see what we got going on here. The Dow right now uh, showing down 462. We're going to have an ugly opening, which, again, is a good thing. I want an ugly opening. Any of you who are trying to get cheap stock, you better be putting in your stink bids right now because I don't know how long this lasts. This ugly opening could be over in 15 minutes. We may have this 400, 500 point Dow drop, five, six, 700 point Dow drop, and then we have a 500 point rally an hour, second hour in, and some of your stocks will reach lows and some will not. I, I can't say. So your option writers, I'm wanting, to, I want you to put an option buys, option stake bids to buy your contracts back at stupid numbers. So if you're thinking, oh, I want to buy this contract back at two dollars, no, you're not. Two oh five. That's the bid you put in. I want to buy the contract at 150. No, no, 155 is the stink bid you're going to put in. Uh, if you're looking to write a contract and you want to get eight dollars for it, 7.95 is the price you sell for it. Think of gas stations; they always offer you gas at 209.9, not two dollars and ten cents. Want you to be a stink offerer and a stink buyer. If you're looking to buy stock in uh, some of our favorites like uh, like Rocket Lab, SoFi, uh, Matterport, 23andMe, Spire, ATP, put in stink bids. Um, I see Matterport trading at 813 on the market right now. Put in, put in a buyer at 801. Put in a buyer at 776. You might get it. I don't know. Uh, SoFi, 1302 right now. Okay, that's a stink bid right there, 1302 or or 1276 or 1256. Um, GameStop 9978. Matterport 950, 902, 904 stink bids. Uh, 23andMe is at 423. How about 402, 403 for stink bids there? Uh, Spire 212 right now. How about a 201 stink bid or 191 or a 176 stink bid? ATIP last trade on the open market 330. How about a 301 stink bid at 281 or 276? Smart rent uh, last trade seven dollars. How about a 676 stink bid or a 653 stink bid? Uh, six there, a 1060 last trade, so 1051, uh, 1026, 1002. 
something like that. Apple right now bouncing up a little bit, back to 160. Goldman, uh, 338.30, down 562. Cisco up still 4 cents at 56.73, and then Tesla at 8.94. Remember, these highfalutin stocks, these, these high-priced guys, Apple, Goldman, Cisco, IBM, uh, Microsoft, you're trying to buy um, uh, in-the-money calls, deep in-the-money calls, put in stink bids for those. So if you see a uh, Goldman Sachs uh, uh, $280, $270 contract, um, and you, I don't know what the price of them is, but you might put in a stink bid five dollars lower, seven dollars lower, eight, ten dollars lower than what the market was showing on Friday to score a cheap contract. You want to catch someone who's panicking out the door. You're hoping that someone is panicking to get out because they've got margin problems, they've got money problems, they've lost all faith in humanity, they think the world is coming to an end. You're looking for saps that are willing to sell in this market. That's what you're looking for. You're a sniper. And you're just waiting for that that victim to come into your wheelhouse and go, here's a bid for you. You want to hit my bid? Can't find another bid? Here's a bid. I'm a nice guy. I'll buy your stuff from you because you're taking the longer term view, not the the view of today. All right, we're down 469 on the Dow, 1.3 percent. We're down 73 points on the S&P, down 1.69 percent. We're down 295 points on the Nasdaq, down 2 percent, only 2 percent. But the Nasdaq is already off 14. Now we're going to be off 16 percent temporarily. I don't know if we're going to close here tonight, but that's where we're going to open here. Now we'll see what's going on. All right, kids, uh, put in your stink bids. H. Gregory, stink. Bids activated. Now you're talking. You buy on the low. You buy when they panic out. You are calculated. You are ruthless. You are calm. You are focused. It's all up here. You are you are the opposite of all the, the crowd. You, you're not in the flock of sheep whatsoever. You're just looking at the flock of sheep through binoculars, waiting to pick on off that's went its wayward way you are looking to score some deals here. Whether you're buying calls back, buying in the money calls deep, or you're looking to buy up some stock, what you're not gonna do this morning is sell everything and get out. Because only a moron would be doing that in a, in a falling market. You don't do that. No, you just wait, give it a couple of days, give it a week, give it a month, you'll be fine. Uh, we're gonna be okay. There is where I'm at um, at the moment. Uh, on all of this. Uh, GameStop is $100.50 a share, seven cents away from the opening. I have no guarantees for any of you that, oh, I'm going to tell you for sure the market's going to crash 700 points and you're going to get deals. No, no, no. I have no idea how this market will react second to second once it opens up. There will be goofy quotes and goofy trades and you will see there will be outrage in the comment section. Oh my God, I can't believe this is trading at such a price. Yep, well, that's what happens on a goofy market. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the world. Uh, just kind of stick around and um, calmly just wait it out. Uh, again, put in your bids to get your stink bids and see what happens. GameStop could open at 99, but it could pop to 105 right away. Uh, GameStop might pop down to you know 94 and then go right to 115, 112. Those of you who are looking to write GameStop options, you want to write GameStop options, what you're needing to do right now is this. You want to write them, yeah, but you want to write them into some strength, and we want to see just how, how good the strength really is. So let the first salvos happen and sit back and just wait and see what you do. And you may be putting in stink offers on contracts that expire this Friday, 10, 15 minutes into this market. After 5, 10, 15 minutes of trading, you may find that, oh, GameStop is coming up to 101, 103, 106. I might put in a 110 sell order for this Friday for some of the shares I'm sitting on. And if I can get this much for it, because I notice them, they're trading at six, seven dollars, I want to get 899 or 895 for them or 890 or, or, or 980 for them. I'm going to put in a stink offer. You might get lucky and get taken out, and then the the stock backs off five bucks ten minutes later, and you've scored a three four dollar gain on a stink buyback of those contracts. All of you have to keep an eye on this. 
that are into this because it could be very active morning this morning for a bunch of you getting out in in out out in it's called making money guys and just breathe <sighs> exhale get ready we're five minutes away from all hell breaking loose uh we're down only 360 on the dow right now we're down 60 on s p we're down 240 on nasdaq we're not plummeting on these markets there's limited movement here it could change in five minutes though we're four or five minutes away but i don't see a free-for-all 10 percent drop in the market to open the day happening anywhere i don't i don't see that but let's keep an eye on things and see how it goes oh my gosh are we gonna have fun 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 today four minutes to go kids welcome to the show i'm glad you're here and uh like i say just just relax and breathe and just get ready for uh, where we are larry's here he's always here i'm here meeting starting hour than usual today larry get ready to hit those bells we're going to have fun 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 let's see what's going on how low will the shares go and how long will they stay there uh there's the question 209 last trade on spire down 13 cents 330 on atip Seven bucks on Smart Rent, ten forty on Sextera, twenty three me at four twenty, Matterport nine sixty eight, GameStop ninety nine fifteen, SoFi twelve ninety six, Rocket Lab eight thirty three is what I'm showing right here. Got Apple down two forty five to one fifty nine ninety six, Goldman down five sixty two to three thirty eight thirty. I got Cisco at fifty six thirteen now down fifty five cents. They've decided to join the party too. Tesla down forty-four dollars to eight ninety-nine. That is where we're at right now, kids. Um, let's see what the volatility does this morning, and we'll follow it and just kind of you know go from there. Uh, hey, hey, hey! Arc uh, uh, Innovation sixty-eight ninety-one down two sixty-one sixty-eight ninety. Um, they were as low as sixty-eight twenty or so. Uh, they're now sixty-eight eighty. That's what I got going right there. Um, we're opening in two and a half, three minutes, guys, girls. Uh, let's see what the market wants to do. That'll tell us what we're going to do. Simple, really. It's so easy. It's simple. Okay. I'm keeping an eye on the Dow 30s right now so I can see how they're, uh, how they're performing this morning. Be most interesting to see what we have going on on the Dow's. Oh boy. Uh CNBC. Uh let's see if I can get any quotes here. Um we got Na Dow Futures down 391, uh two minutes to go. SP down 64, Nasdaq down 250, oil down a buck 47 to 83.65. The US 10 year 1.71. It is falling. The interest rates are falling in the US, which means stocks should be going up. Interesting how that works never a dull moment in the markets um what else have we got pre-markets uh, da, 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 there we are yeah okay 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 uh vix 3332 up 4.47 of 15 percent getting up there the higher it goes the more volatile it gets but also the quicker turnarounds can take place because you get to this irrationality coming in where you get stupid trades being done then it gets interesting. Okay. Uh, fun, fun times. Thank you for joining me this morning. Welcome one and all. We're about to start trading right here, right now, and we'll follow the markets together and just see where it wants to, where does it want to go? Uh, that means you go. I'm not going anywhere. Are you guys going anywhere? We're not going anywhere. Got nothing else to do. It's not like we have day jobs. Yeah, hey, hey, who has a day job? Losers have day jobs. I mean, come on. Oh man, I missed the boat. I missed Uncle Bruce talking about what to buy. Uh, everything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> deals, deals, deals. It's it's a it's a Boxing Day sale. Everything's on sale right after Christmas. Oh my gosh. Here we go, Larry. Thank you, buddy. The bells are ringing and we're off and running. Thanks, Larry, for this. Uh, good, to, good to have you do that for us, as always, as we now get ready to watch the opening salvo of trades. Uh, this will take a little while to settle in, so we'll get all kinds of wild gyrations here. 99.37, I think, is where GameStop is. I can't be 100% sure, but I think so. 99.67. 
at the moment 9972 on GameStop on 186,000 so far. Uh, Rocket Lab down 48 to 842. It's kind of where it was indicating on the opening. SoFi 1289 down a dollar. Uh, Matterport off 89 cents to 944. ME down 30 at 420. Spire down 11 at 211. ATIP down 14, 324. Smart Rent down 17 to 694. Six Terra down 33 to 1053. This will change, of course. Uh, ding, ding, ding. The casinos open. Chicago Transit Minority. I am thumbs up number 288. Thank you, everyone, for the thumbs ups already. Nicholas called me a loser. Oh, no. He called me a loser. I have a day job. Oh, no. One day you could be a winner like the rest of us. It's all right. It's all good. Don't worry. You'll be laid off, fired. You'll be incompetent. Don't worry. You'll join the rest of us. It's fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> We're down 454 on the Dow. We're down 73 on S&P. We're down 300 on NASDAQ. Oil down a buck 63 to 8351 right now. We're down 1.4% on the Dow, 1.6 on S&P and 2.1 on the NASDAQ right now, okay? Let's see what's going on. Nacho concerned Goldman Sachs calls this week are down. Bargoons are to be had. That's right, um, Bitcoin. I, I'm in an elevator on the top floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Did I just hear the cable snap? Oh. <laughs> uh, Sam, well, I have a day job, but I'm one of the younger ones here, so I get a break. Okay, you get a break. Uh, Arico, Bruce, what do you think about Meet Kevin selling off his entire 20 million portfolio? What a dope. Someone tell him to buy Bruce's class. Uh, you know, Kevin, Meet Kevin is uh, hes just, he's cool. He's okay. Um, he does what he does, and he has his followers, many more than I have. And God bless him, and uh, I, I wish him nothing but the best. And uh, how it works, it works. Uh, GameStop, $100.82. The uh, stock has not had a serious drop-off this morning. Um, GameStop, I'm showing the low 99.02 so far. 101.52. I'm not calling this a recovery. I'm just saying this is where we are to start the morning on 238,000 volume. We'll keep an eye on that volume and on the uh, indexes themselves and just see how the shares want to behave. Uh, there's no specific reason for GameStop to go down, but there's no specific reason for the GameStop to go up either. Because I don't think they've said a word. We'll see what happens. Um, again, those of you who've written calls on GameStop, you've put your stink bids in to see if they come to you, which is good. Those of you who are wanting to write calls on GameStop, you are poised on the sidelines waiting to make your move when you know, we, we settle in a little bit here. 20, 30, 40 minutes. Let's see how this market wants to kind of go with us. And we'll kind of go from there. Uh, with peace and love, laughing out loud. Um, darn your professionalism. Such a diplomatic answer. Uh, let's see. Um, well, there you go. Uh, his meet Kevin strategies to get into small caps because he thinks that they have a better recovery than the rest of the market. Could well be right. We are. We follow a few small caps around here. Uh, Game's up 102.77. That's a good sign. I don't mind the stock going up. Uh, you want to go up and then come back off a little bit, or that be that be great. Uh, I'm not. I have not got a problem. Uh, we'll see how uh, GameStop wants to behave. Um, let's see, and uh, let's go. Let's go. Meet Kevin. Uh, got margin called and hasn't admitted it yet. He was just talking about. Increasing margin the other day, yeah, I do not condone margin. Something, suddenly, everything is liquidated, says Mr. G. Uh, go Spire with news on Yahoo Finance, apparently. We got Spire right now at 209 and a half pennies, at down 12 and a half cents. ATIP down 9 cents. Smart Rent down 20. Sixtera down 33. We got Rocket Lab down 35 cents. SoFi down 94. Games up at 102 bucks, down 436. Matterport down 66 cents, ME down 220 or 222 cents, now only down 19, Spire down 12, ATIP down 9, Smart Rent down 29, Six Star down 33, AMC at 1676, down a buck 20, coming back to that $12 level where it started when it went to 72, from 12 to 72, back to 16. 
Robinhood 1240, uh, Vanek uh, down 420, uh, Robinhood, uh, or, I'm sorry, Home Depot down 360, IBM down a buck 40, the Dow down 360 points, S&P down 59, NASDAQ down 236, uh, Microsoft down 541 to 290, Apple only down two bucks to 160, we'll get up, that 160 level looks good, Goldman uh, down eight bucks, 820 to 335, the, the low was 332, We'll see what kind of a snapback rally if there is one coming on Goldman. Cisco down only 33 cents. It got down to 55.88. It's now 56.35. It's come back 50 cents already to be only down 30 cents. Cisco isn't getting schlamackled here. Uh, Facebook, 298.98 down 4.19. Amazon down 47 dollars and Tesla down 34 with Google down 58. Bed Bath Beyond up actually three cents. Blackberry down twenty seven. Royal Caribbean seventy seven ten down one ninety eight. Um, Target down two bucks. J P Morgan down two seventy. Costco down three bucks. Walmart down only thirty three cents. Nvidia down seven dollars. And there's some interesting and opening numbers right there that we're watching here. Some of our faves. Rocket Lab actually coming back only down eight. Down to 872 now, down only 28 cents. SoFi down 72 now at 1318. It's coming back. Uh, GameStop 10116 down 514. Matterport down only 48 cents to 984. Emmy down 16. Spire down 9 cents. ATP only down to nickel. Uh, Smart Rent down a quarter. Um, uh, Sextera down 32. So we seem to have a bit of a recovery on some of our faves. The Dow now down 389. It was just down 400. It's really gyrating. We've got a loss of 64 on the S&P 500. And we're down 236 points on NASDAQ. There it is. Um, well, let's see what's going on. Um, Tiff is saying, Uncle Bruce, is this the bad opening you've been hoping for? Uh, or do we have to suffer more? Your Saturday video was great, by the way. Thank you for that. Um yeah, I, I've been looking for the bad opening. Kramer's been looking for the bad opening. Technicians have been looking for bad openings. I, I want to see just blood, guts, and gore in the opening. We didn't get that today, by the way. This is not a bad opening. It's 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 a down opening, but it's not bad. A bad would be three, four percentage points. Triple this. Triple. So we'd be like... We'd be off 1,500 on the Dow. We'd be off uh, 200 on S&P. We'd be off uh, six, 700 on NASDAQ. That's bad. We, we haven't had that. We could get to that. I mean, you could still do it this morning, but I, I don't know if it will. Uh, stocks are sliding as Fed decision looms uh, lots, and then we're right in the middle of earnings period. And I just don't see uh, enough conviction for people wanting to get out because this morning, uh, um, Halliburton came up with good numbers. Um, banks came up with okay numbers last week. We got Apple coming up. We've got Tesla coming up. Uh, we know Tesla is just flying on their deliveries. They are rocking. Uh, Tesla is likely to show a lot of positive stuff with the odd supply chain, you know, screw up here and there. Hardly an excuse to be upset at Tesla. It's like not a management problem. I think what we have is is a shareholder problem. We have shareholders having problems, not not corporates, uh, corporate entities. Actually, corporate entities are in pretty good shape, pretty solid. It's the shareholders that are uh, overextended. Not you guys that follow me. Hopefully, I'm praying that it's not you that's the problem. You guys are non-margin players. I hope it's the 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 hedge funds that are are into way into too deep into derivatives. Um, um, you know, uh, gamblers that were out there trying to uh, utilize other people's money to try to make more money. Uh, these are the ones getting their, their butts handed to them right now in the last month or two, and, and it's now accelerating in, the, in that area. But it only has a limited shelf life before that ends because once they're blown up, they're blown up, and there's nothing else available to get. And that's where we see stock drying up quickly and it averages instantly starting to react positively. And we get that. Um, you get you get that snap rally that kicks in, and of course speculation starts all over again because a whole bunch of new speculators start leveraging up on the down dip, and they up they go. But um, we'll see how all that plays itself out. Okay, agreed on the weekend update recap video. I found it helpful, says Coyote.
Fantastic. Um, Bobby is saying, I already added VIX and the ARKK to my watch list. Thanks, Uncle B. ARKK, that's the ARK Innovation ETF. $69.93 right now. Uh, the low was 67.64 uh, on the day today for ARK Innovation ETF. This is the ETF that owns uh, NASDAQ 100 stocks. Um, but the only stock that this fund owns that makes up uh, half the index, uh, the top seven companies that make up half the index, the only one they own of those is Tesla. 10% of this fund is Tesla. The remaining 90% of this fund uh, owns uh, stock in the uh, NASDAQ 100 that makes up 52% of the index's value. And that is the section of the index, the, 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 uh, the, the NASDAQ 100 that's getting the crap kicked out of it. Um, Apple's down, yeah, but Apple isn't out. Um, uh, Microsoft is down, but it isn't out, uh, um, and so on. We, we have uh, the high-end um, seven stocks that dominate the, the NASDAQ 100. They're not the problem here. Uh, Apple being down 1.6% today is not the problem for the NASDAQ 100. Uh, Cisco being down 1.2 percent, or uh, my Tesla maybe down 4.6. It's probably the worst of them, but they're at they're back to 906. They've actually come back 20 bucks a share. Uh, Google and and um, and um, the others uh, just off the top of my head, or, or I don't even have to look at the top of my head. I can look at my notes. Uh, <laughs> Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, Google, Tesla, Amazon, and Nvidia. Those make up. Those seven stocks make up 48% of the entire NASDAQ index 100, NASDAQ 100. Everybody else, all the other 93 stocks combined make up 52%. And that is the, uh, that is the, those are the problem children. Those are the problem childs. The 93 others have been the problems. And uh, that is what has dragged down the Dow or the NASDAQ. And at the moment, it's still the loser on the day to 1.66% for, uh, for the day of losses. Uh, but um, they're being uh, the Nasdaq's being dragged down by the 93 stocks that don't make up the, the top seven stocks, really. Um, S&P down one and a half percent. The Dow only down 1.1. It's actually the best performer because the Dow is filled with 30 companies that are the backbone of the U.S. economy, and uh, that includes Apple and that includes Microsoft. But uh, these guys are not getting hammered like uh, like other like the other indexes. Are. It is a it is a downdraft, no question. We are, we have backed off on the Dow 30. There's no 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 getting around that, but it is not the uh, big loser right now. The uh, the uh, going into this morning, uh, Nasdaq was off over 14 percent already from its highs. It was the one that was the worst performer, uh, and it is off again another. Uh, 1.9% this morning. So there you go. That is where, where we're at right now. Um, the Dow is not the leader of the down dip. Uh, it is being uh, you know, brought along for the ride. Right now, the losers on the Dow, the worst of them, Goldman Sachs down $9 a share to three thirty four. dollars which means at, as I speak to you, if uh, you wanted to buy Goldman Sachs stock, you are paying 5.6 times earnings on this stock. This is not an overvalued stock. It is incredibly undervalued. United Healthcare down 620. Microsoft down six bucks. Boeing down six. Visa down 530 a share. Salesforce.com down 489. Walt Disney down 460. Apple down 290 a share. Honeywell down 260. Nike down 260. JP Morgan down 250. American Express down two and a half. Home Depot down 220, McDonald's down two bucks, McDonald's, uh, Johnson Johnson down two bucks, Caterpillar down 169. The winners this morning would be Travelers up a dollar, Procter and Gamble up 41 cents, and Verizon up 26 cents. The not doing so bad department would be Walgreens, Intel, Cisco, Coca Cola, Amgen, Walmart, Dow. Chemical Chevron. These stocks are down a dollar a share or less, or less than a dollar a share each at the moment. Merck, 3M, and IBM are down one to two dollars each at the moment. All of these can turn around and become positive, and even the losers could cut half their losses out quickly on any kind of a recovery track. We haven't got one yet. We're waiting to see if we're going to get one. 
but uh, we'll see how this plays out. We're down 504 now on the Dow. We're at the low of the day, down 1.48%. We're down 81 on S&P, and we're down 303 on NASDAQ, which is 2.2%, okay? Uh, what else is going on? Oh, there's a takeover offer for Kohl's uh, from an activist investor group. And there's a there's a push going on, a call for the Peloton CEO to get his butt handed to him and kick him out and maybe seek a sale of the company to somebody else. So activist investors and other investors in Peloton are upset and, you know, the virus and everything else and the CEO are all to blame for their stock not doing well. And we should get rid of this guy. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. Something tells me the CEO and his pals have enough votes to keep him around. Um, and I don't know if that's really the best idea for this company is to get rid of the founder. I don't know if that's really your best move. But anyway, what can I say? Um, what else is going on here? Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome, everybody, to, uh, to the show this morning. Um, nice to have you here. Um, <laughs> Tiff, Tiff is saying, by the way, my wife thinks now that the Bagel family uh, is a strange religious cult that holds services six days a week instead of just on Sunday. So there you go. 2.2 <laughs> 2 million traded on Matterport, apparently. Uh, keep an eye on things. Uh, let's see how we're doing on our stocks here. Let's get a look at our favorite. I got Rocket Lab at $8.59 8 on 620000 down 41 now. We were low as eight fifty two or eight fifty six now. SoFi, the low of the day, 1256. We're trading at 1262. This is where we were before the bank announcement, before the charter came through. So if you missed the charter buy, you've got it one more time. 15.5 million traded on SoFi. GameStop, 98.61. We backed off. We're at the new lows. 97.61 were the was the low this morning. Still not the low of all time. 92 on Friday is where we were. But we're at now 98.62 on 557 volumes so a little little more selling coming in on gamestop matterport 969 low of the day was 937 we're back 32 cents already down still 64 now with 972 down 61 cents on 2.6 million volumes so there's buying coming in on matterport definitely uh me at 432 and a half down low of 416 We'll come back 16 cents. We're down 17 cents on 592,000. So ME is getting a support bid. Spire, the low of the day, 203, trading at 204 on 157,000. Not much there. ATIP, low of the day, 320. We're at 320 and a half. This is the low, 124,000 volume. It's all been bought up. Smart rent, um, 674. The low is 672. We're down 37 cents on 25,800 shares. There's nothing coming in, even at this low price. This is a scoop to steal. Uh, Sixterra, 1066. The low this morning, 1051. Volume, 38,600 shares. There's no stampede heading for the exits here. Uh, this looks good, just like Smart Rent. AMC down to fifteen ninety two, um, down one ninety eight a share. Robinhood down seventy cents to twelve twenty eight. Avantic Vectors off five ninety five. Home Depot down a buck eighty, giving up very little now. Uh, IBM down two dollars to one twenty seven thirty four. The Dow right now five. 45 on the down dip, 82-point drop on S&P, 292 on NASDAQ. Oil down $1.48 to 83.66. Microsoft down $5 to 290.99. Let's call it 291. The low is 289. So we're about two, three dollars better, two dollars better than the low on Microsoft. On Apple, we're down 260. At 159.91, we got down to 159.10, 80 cents from here, and uh, we're trading 21 million on Apple. That's where we're at. Okay, Goldman is down 13 bucks a share. Ridiculous, absolutely stupid. Um, 5.56 times earnings, the low 330. Where is it? 
330 a share. Absolute bargain, bargain. Deep in the money calls is where you want to go on these guys. And just sit back, let the stock pop back where it came from, the 367 range, and then start writing poor man cover calls against your 280s or your 270s or your 260s. However, you wherever you can steal them from, steal them and enjoy some nice upside unbelievable down 1423 share right now on goldman stupid as all get up 542 is the down dip on the dow make that 559 right now 84 and a half on s p and 304 on nasdaq apple like i said down 281 cisco down only 19 cents facebook down 598 amazon down 33 tesla down 77 dollars to 867 and Google down $55 a share to $25.46. Crazy, crazy. Uh, Royal Caribbean down $274 to $76.35. More bad news on the cruise front. I uh, just heard this morning Crystal Cruises ship was going to be seized in Miami when the ship came back on its latest cruise. There is an arrest warrant out for the Crystal, uh, is it Serenity? I can't remember the name of the ship. Uh, they decided to go to the uh, go to Bahamas instead uh, because there's no arrest warrant for them there, and they offloaded their passengers and they ferried them back to Miami or they flew them back to Miami to finish off their trip, uh, and the ship will uh, will go to ports where it will not be seized by any authorities while Genting, the parent company of Crystal Cruises tries to sort out their mess. They're applying for uh, debt relief through the courts in Hong Kong. And uh, Crystal is, in my opinion, that cruise line will be sold to somebody else, is my opinion. I don't know who. And uh, hopefully the debts of that company will be settled. We'll see how it all works out. Okay. I don't understand why the market is down. I don't understand why SoFi is down. Uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, I hear you. Uh, NASDAQ down almost 16% now uh, in a month. I hate red, says BW. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bagel Familia is a cult, but I belong to the Church of the Fonz. <laughs> uh, Mr. G says that Evergrande in China asks creditors not to take aggressive action against them. Laugh out loud. Please, bro, I promise I'm good for it. Just don't sue me or try to cash that check I wrote for a few years. Yeah, right. Um, let's see. The race to the bottom is on between ATIP and Spire. Um, and Wall Street Journal, Evergrande asks overseas and in creditors for more time. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, Mr. Seneca hit a huge milestone today. My Fidelity investment account is over 100000 grand lower. When does the red stop, Brucey? Oh, and is Tesla a buy at these prices? <laughs> there you go. Tesla comes out with earnings uh, on uh, on Wednesday, Wednesday, day after tomorrow. Tesla comes out with earnings. Uh, we got all kinds of earnings this week, including Apple and IBM and others. Um, Bruce, seems we're going to uh, see every former SPAC under 10, and half of those are going to go under 5, it would seem, think, thinks BW. We'll see what's going on. No stampede, indeed. It's been an orderly exit for two months, says Nomacity. Alberto, thank you for this donation. Covered calls on uh, Boeing, thanks. Uh, imagine only green, laughing out loud. Morning, bagel, familiar. Don't panic and sell. Red candles on GameStop. Right now, it's 96.80 on GameStop, down nine bucks. 950. Spire is going to test two bucks. We are at 202, down 20. And ATIP at 317 right now. Rocket Lab down 52 to 848. SoFi 1232 down a buck and a half. A bargoon, if you know me, that is a bargoon. Uh, GameStop $97, a low of the day on, on GameStop, 96.56. We were at 92 on uh, Friday, if I recall, 92-ish. All right, uh, well, we'll see what's going on here. Uh, the Dow off 536, S&P down 86, NASDAQ down 330. Uh, Evergreen was was a warning about the mark, market, but it's hard to believe before mark really played out um the ubi the Un uncle bruce index started the year at 1045 it closed friday at 766 now it's at 737 for the ubi index live online history spreadsheet use the link in my youtube page assign right on buddy the ubi is the average price of sofi me atip spire matterport six Terra, rocket live and smart rent right on thanks to sign appreciate this 
DQ two different services devices and ATP won't load. Vergen is clapping. DQ uh, Michael, that sucks. Uh, Advantage Duncan Simpletons. Franz, someone call it Spire or ATP. My last not needed donor. Uh, Dow one thousand point drop today. What do you think? I thought SoFi was going to be safe harbor in this crazy market. Um, Michael, it's working on my Windows laptop. Checking my Mac. Uh, let's see, forty three hundred for S and P might be the bottom. Uncle Bruce, is the market down for the fear of Ukraine? That's part of it. Uh, in the background, there's a little of that. Uh, uh, interest rates, inflation, economic slowdowns. The Fed might be raising rates just when the markets are backing off. There's a lot of overlying. I think the markets are backing off because uh, shareholders have issues not corporations. I, I think what we have here are a number, hundreds and hundreds of hedge funds with trillions of dollars of leveraged investments are getting caught with their pants down all over the place. And they're selling what they can for cash to liquidate and cover their losses. That's my hunch. It's my guess. And SPAC stocks are part of that area where they're selling off. But they'll be done soon because there won't be much left. Just a reminder, the SoFi Insiders uh, bought $1.5 billion worth of their stock in the last quarter. It's interesting. Um, let's see. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, everything's at the discount, says Alex. Uh, bye, bye, bye. That's right. My arms are folded. I just wish I had dry powder at these prices. These prices are insane. Just cross your arms and do nothing, people. Just do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, 855 on Rocket Lab down 45 cents. So far at 1247, 1251 down 138. GameStop 9780 down 856. Matterport 966 down 67 cents. ME 930 down 19. Spire 207 down 15 cents. ATIP 325 down 13. Smart Rent down 33 cents to 9678. And Sixtera. Down 20 cents to 1066. AMC back over 16 to 1611. IBM at 127.43. The Dow still off. 579 to 593. The low of the day on the Dow still coming in with sales. Sales will begat more sales, which will begat more sales. And you flush out the loosey gooseys and then watch out. The relief rally can be. A week of it. You never know when it starts, and when it starts, it is dramatic. We'll we'll see what happens. I'll be here. Will you be here? I'll be here. Uh, Microsoft down five eighteen to two ninety, two ninety ninety two. We're closer to two ninety one on Microsoft. Apple one fifty nine eighty nine, just under one sixty down two fifty two. Goldman three thirty thirty nine down thirteen fifty two. Cisco up nineteen cents. There's a harbinger there of what's coming already. Uh, Cisco is not interested in participating any further in the shenanigans of going lower. And the stock hit the high of 64.29 a couple weeks ago, a month ago. Here we are at 56.96. Seven bucks, and that's all it's given up. Interesting, very interesting. Up 28 cents on Cisco. Facebook <clears throat> down 5.62. Amazon down $34, Tesla down 67 Google down 51 There you have it, uh, folks. We're watching a whole bunch of stuff going on here. And we're having a whole bunch of fun. Um, oil down 165 to 83.49. All right. Thank you, everybody. How much more selling can be done in the NASDAQ 100 until it's grossly oversold and buyers come in? Uh, once the FANG stocks get hit, the markets are going to look horrific. Well, like I say, uh, it's sooner or later. It kind of happens. Uh, Al Al Alberto says, Peloton is making me rich. Is that Peloton? Peloton? Uh, Advanced Duncan. Duncan, I'm sitting back. Uh, hi, Bruce. Dr. Walter. Great video on Saturday. I've watched it twice. What do you think margin calls might do in relation to short positions? Uh, I'm thinking about GameStop in particular. Interested in your thoughts. Uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, you know, if, 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 if uh, hedge funds have been shorting, they're happy, right? As a matter of fact, if hedge funds have been shorting, I mean, depending on what they're shorting, they're richer right now across the board. I mean, no matter what you're shorting, you're making money except for Cisco. Uh, that would tell me the markets wouldn't be down this much, though. So 
Uh, I don't think the hedge funds are shorting. I think the hedge funds went long. I think the hedge funds went long on a lot of stuff and went long with leverage and they're getting their butts handed to them right now. That's what I think is really going on. Uh, the Dow's down almost 600 points. Uh, was just a moment ago at 598. We're at 580 now on the downside. Down 92 on S&P and we're down uh, 336 on uh, NASDAQ. NASDAQ down 2.4%. S&P down 2.7%. Dow down 1.67% right now. Cheers, everybody, around the world. If you're joining me today, thank you for being here with me. Um, if you've been able to give me a thumbs up this morning, a thumbs up this morning, I thank you. Uh, 270 thumbs ups have come in. I say cheers to all of you who have given me a thumbs up. So that's the first thing I want to do. I want to say cheers and beg the rest of you, please give me a thumbs up and help this channel out with some momentum. And let's see if we can get over 500 thumbs ups and then let's get over 600. Mm. Thank you all so much for backing me up and being here. Kind words that you're spreading out there. 368 thumbs ups now apparently is what we have. My machine was stuck uh, at the, uh, the old number. Thank you for 371 thumbs ups. Love to get over 500 as soon as humanly possible and then take a run at 1,000 today. That would be great. Thank you, everybody, for hitting those thumbs up buttons that you have. They're free for you to hand out. Please throw those thumbs up switch levers out there. 384 now, and they're coming in. Beautiful, everybody. Thank you so, so very much. I'm showing uh, Goldman Sachs as the loser of the day. On the Dow 30, um, at the moment, the biggest loser is uh, Goldman Sachs down 1339, United Healthcare down 829, Boeing down 777, Caterpillar down 527, Walt Disney down 511. The winners, there's one. Verizon is up two cents. That's the positive playa. As far as down two bucks or less, um, these would be Merck, Dow, Home Depot, Walmart, uh, Travelers, Coca-Cola, Walgreens, Intel, Amgen, Procter Gamble, Cisco, and Verizon. Those guys are down two dollars or less. But Goldman, United, Boeing, Caterpillar, Disney, Visa, Salesforce, Microsoft, J.P. Morgan, American Express, Honeywell, McDonald's, and Chevron are the losers of the day right now on the Dow, okay? Cisco's green says DQ. That's what I've noticed too. Uh, it was green. Uh, six cents on the old Cisco. Uh, the first one to turn. Rocket Lab down 46 cents to 854. SoFi 1245 down 144. We've been worse. GameStop 9685 um, down on the day. Um, 9662, the low 9656. This is the low territory for GameStop. We have not been able to break into new lows, even though the Dow is down 639 now. The Dow is at its low, and GameStop is not lower than Friday. Keep that in mind, those of you who have written contracts against GameStop. You wrote 98s, 100s, 105s, 110s. I'm hoping some of you are already scooping back your GameStop calls for some profits here. And now sit and do this and see if there's any kind of rally on GameStop. Uh, was it, is it 100? Is it 102, 105, 110? I don't know if GameStop will go lower or not. And I don't know if it'll come back, roaring back yet. But once the Dow hits its low in the morning and has a bounce back rally, even if it's a dead cat rally, we might get one on GameStop with it. And we are not hitting new lows on GameStop. 95.73 right now, I'll... I'll Correct myself, we're just now touching newer lows, and that might be helping some of you with your stink bids. Keep an eye on those, see if they get ex executed, and if so, great, and let's move on from there. Keep a close eye on everything, okay? Are we having fun yet? Anybody? Anybody? Picked up some uh, $335 Goldman Sachs calls for this Friday, five bucks. They were 12 bucks last Friday, hoping for a win, says Nacho Concern. Nacho is going long on Goldman Sachs. Uh, it's now 328 on the stock, the low of the day, 328. Um, $15 down dip at the moment.
but you wouldn't take much for Nacho to make a few bucks here if the stock wanted to go from this down 15 to down 5. That would put it at 338, um, putting this contract in the money and probably putting it up a few dollars. So there's a gain there. But let's see what happens. You've got till Friday. So, you know, you're gambling on the big one. We'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, 95.20 on uh, GameStop uh, right now. I think we're at the low of the day on GameStop, having just talked about it. Uh, 95.25, low of the day, 95.20 on your GameStop. Okay. All righty. Um, Mr. Seneca, seriously, though, Uncle Bruce, with Tesla numbers coming out this week and the Fed update at the end of the week, is now a good time to pick up more or wait? It's below my average now. That's why I'm asking. Thank you. Um, if you're a long-term player in Tesla, whenever you see it's a, a backing off, uh, you know, a good one, you, you want to take advantage of it. The problem with that with Tesla is we can never predict the absolute low, but we are off seventy-one dollars share to eight seventy-two, and we do know we were aware that the delivery numbers are at record highs. The execution is coming together. We also know to, uh, Austin plant is about to start production. We know Berlin's plant is about to start production. They're expanding you know, production at Fremont as fast as they can. They're pushing Shanghai as hard as they can to keep growing the production number. I mean, th this company is firing on every cylinder they got going with more coming. So, uh, you know, it's it's a buy to for me. It's a long term buy. Yes, I don't recommend it to my channel though, as as one of my favorites. But yeah, long term, sure. Uh, but short term, Dow drops and everything else. All hands, uh, I'm off on that. There you go. Um, let's see what happens, uh, Bruce. You keep saying that people were overextended and that they're going to have margin calls or doors might be shuttered. Where or how do we find that news? And where and are we? All we hear is Evergrande. Well, BW, um, don't be surprised in, the, as I say, later this week, this month, uh, February coming up, you're going to start hearing, uh, you know, bank stocks uh, or bankers or, or, or uh, uh, industry insiders. You're going get to the, get the stories coming out about certain hedge funds having, you know, shut their doors. Uh, I'm not talking about necessarily individual people uh, there's always people get their brains blown out by getting you know betting the wrong way on a market but i'm talking about big players multi-billion dollar players that ground the world that are you know right now taking it on the chin we're going to hear about it I, I really do uh this is a great day to buy 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 says alex uh, i haven't gotten these deals in a long time cheers bruce from dr walter thank you Thank you, thank you. Uh, Cindy B, I need a drink. Uh, uh, Bruce, this is out of topic, but I got corona today, says Dan. Dan, you take care of yourself, man. Please do take care of yourself. Uh, Uncle Bruce, please reserve a seat for the Saturday class for me. I will complete payment ASAP. You got it, Beach Boy. Looking forward to having you in the class as usual. Any of you would like to be in this Saturday's class, we are running a live class this Saturday, 10 o'clock Eastern Time. I will be uh, in front of the old whiteboard. Jennifer will be moderating 10 o'clock Eastern. Would you like to join us for as part of the classroom? We're going to talk about uh, using poor man covered call writing strategies to quit your day job. We're going to talk about how you can use poor man covered calls to get away from that boss of yours and be on your own. Maybe you can uh, switch jobs or keep a part-time job instead of a full-time job. Maybe uh, this is your exit strategy. Join us Saturday. We're going to go into all kinds of strategies on poor man covered calls. We're going to talk about that 90-10% rule that we've come up with. We're going to talk about all kinds of psychological strategy. I mean, just even if you're just into writing calls, not necessarily poor man covered calls, just into writing calls, you want to be in this class. Absolutely. And uh, if you want to join us, send me a, uh, a an email to Bruce at hotmail.com. It's the address is right here. Send me an email. Say, Bruce, I want in. I want in. Um, we'll make sure that uh, we'll use your your email as your link, how to get you the link to the channel. Um, cost to attend the class, $150. It's going to be two to two and a half hours in length. Uh, $150 bucks is the cost to get in. 
seats are limited, um, but you will also receive after the class is edited and uploaded to the website, which is stockmarketswithbruce.ca. Once we've got the class uploaded, you will get a link to the class on the website as you always do as participants. And now you've got that one in your library as well to watch whenever you want again and again and again. And then you can watch the questions you're asking me. How about that? Oh, that's fun. Uh, thank you all for uh, <laughs> following me. Hanging around. I appreciate it. Beach Boy, we'll have you in there. And uh, you'll join the others who have already indicated they want a seat in this Saturday's class. Right on, guys. We're going to be adding more classes now. Uncle Bruce, after all these weeks with constant downward pressure, do you think we're in a bear market? Not yet. Uh, that That's going to take months to determine if we're in a bear market. The thinking here is we're in a slight correction right now. Slight. 94.61 on GameStop. Approaching the low of the day, uh, again, setting new low numbers. Um, get your bids in there for any calls you've written in the last two days on your GameStop. Anyway, there you go. Uh, Mark Gibson thinks Tesla's going to 700. Bobby, looks like it's leveling off. Lots lots are down, but not continuing down. Fingers are crossed. Uh, Delahoe says, this is no fun, man. This is no fun at all. I don't like it. Um, VIX is approaching a 52-week high, which is a good sign because that could mean the market could turn. We're down 800 on the Dow, 2.3%. Finally getting some downward action. We're down 812. We're at 121 lower on S&P, 2.7%. We're down 420 on NASDAQ, down 3%. Finally getting some action on the downside. It's been a while. I'm logging off, says Dello, trading them. Feels like some of our stocks are dug into these prices, or maybe I'm just trying to be too optimistic. My GameStop cover call is about the same price as what I paid for with all the fluctuating um, friends at Bagel Team. Where are you putting your stink bids? Alexander, Uncle Bruce, any considerations to make around previously bought deep in the money calls that are now out of the money? For example, Goldman Sachs, 340s to 350s. I'm not writing any calls right now. Obviously, anything else. Um, again, you know, if you can shift your out-of-the-money calls into deeper out-of-the-money calls, you can always play that game. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. You might have to put a little more money in, but that's a wise investment to make because if you can go out in time and down in price, the upside is even greater for you if you can do it. H. Gregor, Uncle Bruce, doesn't mean anything that GameStop and AMC literally go up and down at basically the same exact time. Should we pay attention to these types of things in regards to option writing? Well, as I said uh, a million times, uh, AMC has $5 billion in debt and more, and GameStop has $1.5 billion in cash and no debt. So the difference is a $6.5 billion window. But the investors, the shareholders of these companies are, in some cases, the same people. And so they do it at the same time, thinking, for whatever reason, there's synergy here. And so there's a bit of that. But it, it makes no difference on the option writing game whatsoever. Um, certainly, keep an eye on the AMC if you're into GameStop. Keep an eye on GameStop if you're into AMC, of course. But uh, you got to make your own call when the time is right. Sextail, Uncle B, I'm only green on Sextero, cost average nine ninety. Do you recommend I sell my shares and jump into Matterport or SoFi? No, I wouldn't do anything. Uh, there may not be news hedges that are getting mar merged. Uh, there might be signs. See uh, Merrill Lynch and Smoothie King. Not sure what's going on here. Um, Moderna sub one hundred and fifty. Thanks, Uncle B. Says Mr. Seneca. Eric. Morning, Bruce. Picked up 23 more Tesla shares uh, today and a few hundred more so far. Everything's on sale today. Right on. VIX is at the highest level since October 2020. This is a good sign. This is your chance to pick off cheap stock. We're down 734 on the Dow. We're down 112 on S&P. We're down 388 on NASDAQ. Uh, GameStop's 95.25 is not at new lows. It is not leading the downtrend. It's just getting sucked along it, but it's not leading it lower. SoFi down 181 at 12.08, a bargoon of bargoons. Rocket Lab down 59 to 841. Matterport down 80 at 9.53. What a deal. ME 418 down 31 cents. Spire down 19 at 203. ATIP at 313 down a quarter. We got Smart Rent at 674 down 37 cents. Sextera down 27 cents at 10.59. Performing very well. Uh, AMC 1576 down 221. Robinhood 1156 down 142. The Robinhood high trade 
$85. Does anyone know who that was? $85. Somebody paid $85 to buy Robin Hood. Didn't listen to me saying, you're an idiot. Didn't listen to me. Didn't listen to me. Oh, Bannock down $8. Home Depot down $0.57. Cents. The Dow's off 700 points. Home Depot's off $0.57. Cents. Think about that. It's not joining the party, pal. Uh, IBM down 292. Microsoft down 804. Apple down 353. Goldman Sachs at 328, down 1495. Cisco down only six cents. Strength. Poor man covered call. Writing opportunities on Cisco. Facebook down 844. Amazon down $45. Tesla down $72. Google down $77. A Royal Caribbean down four bucks. Oh, my, 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 my. Costco only down 69 cents. It's not joining the party, pal. They're not joining the party. Interesting. It's not a full-blown across-the-board sell-off at all. American Airlines down 60 cents to 1570. Netflix, 362 a share, down $36 a share after hitting 380 on Friday for its low. Now it's lower. And guess what it's going to do? Netflix will go lower. 250, 200 a share. Easy. Easy. That's where it's headed. Easy. Uh, way overpriced. Snowflake down 12 bucks. DraftKings at 18.23 down $1.23. Moderna down 13.32 to 146.75. A bargain. Wow. Anyway, there it is. Uh, let's go back up to the top here. My goodness. What are we watching today? Activity to say the least. GameStop now. 94.11, giving up pennies. Uh, low of the day, 93.69 on GameStop. Anyone selling sex there? Why? What time does it start? Uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Time Saturday for the class. 10 o'clock Eastern Time Saturday for the class. Looking forward to having you join us. Uh, should be about two, two and a half hours. And um, you'll get the, uh, the experience of joining me live and learning the info that cl the class will r reach the website probably by Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh, pardon me. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for the thumbs ups. Thank you for being here. 437 thumbs ups on this down day. We should get a thousand thumbs ups on a day like this. On a monumental down day like this, we should get a thousand thumbs ups for buying up bargoons. Thank you, everybody, for helping out with the thumbs ups this morning. I do appreciate it. Okay. What else is going on? Um, yeah, I'm not selling anything, Sextel. I sold Sextera once to once to get into SoFi. And the next day, Sextera went up, of course. Ben, um, Uncle Bruce, what happens when tech companies report good earnings but negative outlook and guidance for a quarter or two uh sometimes stocks go down sometimes they go up though they kind of already anticipated the uh the numbers and they don't think the numbers are as bad as one thought you never know has dad taken the t-bird away yet says mickey <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh my oh my I'll jen saying there's no fun anymore there's no fun uh dq says i wrecked the t-bird oh no <laughs> <laughs> oh man cindy alexander i'm here with you on goldman i have five goldman calls all out of the money i should have been writing all along uh let's see who else is going on um oh we got deals 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 yeah we, we're not as low as we were friday but yeah. uh we're still off here. Um, Everybody's nervous what's going to happen over there in Europe. Well, of course, Ukraine and all that. Uh, yeah. See what's going on. We're down 721 on the Dow, 117 on S&P. We're down 424 on NASDAQ. NASDAQ is down 3%. Uh, S&P down 2.6, and uh, the Dow is off 2.1. Oil is off 276 a barrel to 82.38. So uh, that's still interesting to watch. Mm, here we are. Um, BW is saying that they're going to push the Dow a thousand points today. They're going to drop it down a thousand. They they want that 218, 22% market correction or higher. And they're already pushing it close to 16% as of today. Uh, uh, BW, I want to remind you about one little technical thing here. You're not getting um, the Dow lost 
22% in 1987 in one day, not over a week or two. All right. We, we dropped, Jen and I were brokers back then, and we dropped 22% in one session yeah. on the Dow, not over a month or two. All right. That, that's <laughs> today is a nothing burger. This 2% drop on the Dow is a joke for us. We look at this and go, Child's play. This is nothing, baby. One tenth of what we went through. That's yeah, right. the ticker can can keep up to it. Oh no, it's nothing. Yeah, this is a no brainer. No brainer. Uh, yeah, it was insanity. There you go. Uh, Trading up says uh, SoFi getting killed because there's a little meat on the bone for the pipe investors to take yet. The ten dollar pipe investors. Sure. This is proving your point. I think Bruce. There you have it. Uh, we're at eleven ninety nine on SoFi. We're see it they, next week and the week after that. SoFi, SoFi, SoFi. That's right. You got the <laughs> two big games, and when the SoFi is twenty five dollars a share, you're going to go. Thank God I listened to Bruce. I didn't sell it. One. Thank God I listened to Bruce and I bought it. <laughs> Thank God I listened to Bruce and picked up those ten dollar in the money contract contract. Thank God I got those in the money contract. I got, now I'm writing contracts against the contracts and I'm making a killing. I love Uncle Bruce. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Leon, it's been way too long since I've checked in with Bruce. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Nicholas. So when is this bank charter coming out for SoFi? When was this going to happen? <laughs> Uh, last week, uh, that's when it's going to happen. Uh, just uh, Ed just saying, I'm just popped in. Did I miss anything? Nothing. nothing no. Ed, go back to sleep. You're not missing a damn thing. It's all fine. Uh, Pick Nose says, I picked off SoFi from 1285 all the way down to 1205. Good job. Good job. Good job. Um, Smoke Dog, SoFi is three cents off its all time low. Never thought I'd say that after the charter went through. Laugh it out loud. There nice. you go. Right. Then when do you buy? When it's at the low, hello everybody. Twelve oh two on SoFi. Uh, open invitation to make money. Pick it up. Oh, we're gonna have fun, fun, fun. Uh, even if they wreck the T bird, you will get a fix. They keep driving. It's no big deal. That's right. Those T birds. Right Jen, right how are you doing? You doing good. it? Good. It's Monday. It's Monday. Last, Watched all that football. Week, oh, Watched all football. that football this weekend. <laughs> Jen is just oh, all stressed out. Are so good. She enjoyed all those games. Of course, Ben wasn't there, but you I know. know. And and so it it makes it um, it gets rid of your stress levels when your team isn't involved. True. Now you just get to watch and pick on old enemies and things like that. <laughs> Screaming with glee when you watch Tom Brady walk off the field. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. There's some some teams that. You know, it's not even close to the team that played us. But, yeah, you just don't want them there. You just don't want them there. You just don't want them there. <laughs> and, oh, and man. And just so happy for the Bengals. So happy. What a game. All four of them. All four of them. What games. Great games. Great games. Just, uh, yeah. Great games to watch. I don't know if they were great games to watch if you were a fan invested in a team but. buffalo fans oh buffalo. when do the bills get a break right and it's yeah it's uh it's the ravens and the steelers when you have two really good teams that have to fight each other just to get out who gets right? the ball last is yeah. winning is going to win this it's it was flames and the oilers that, yeah 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 exactly they happened they happened to have gretzky the Chiefs happen to have Mahomes. But, yeah. Calgary Flames and Edmonton Oilers. They made us the best team we could be. We had to. It's the only way we could yep. beat them. <laughs> yeah, the Calgary Flames became no champions way. because the Oilers were so good for so many years. Yeah. You had to get to that level to compete against those guys, which meant you were the second best team in the entire league. That's right. That's right. Getting out of the Adams division. Those yeah, 80s. Those, the best games. those 80s and 90s. Oh, my God, the wars. So what's your bagel going to be in a while? Mm, it is Monday. Yeah. I've already got the jelly mm. on the counter. Well, I'm thinking jelly. Okay. <laughs> Just no, no I mean, hair. I, I could no hair, no paper, no, no hair, shenanigans. No. Oh, man. Oh, man. You're getting very picky in your order. I'm, I'm telling everybody about the fact that you're going, to, you're going to be moderating on Saturday morning with the class, 10 o'clock Eastern time. That's 7 o'clock here, you know. 
You're going to be up. Of course, you're always up. I'm up at you're up <laughs> 7 in the morning on a Saturday. What else are we going to do? Sleep? That's, that's you don't I'm sleep. When you're this you're age, you don't sleep, period. I mean, what the? Well, you sleep during the day, uh, like cats. I've been up at 5.30 for too many years to not be up at 5.30. There you now. are. <laughs> so if you want to join Jen and I, this Saturday, 10 o'clock, Jen's going to be moderating a class. So send me I'll an email. I'm trying to decode the questions. She'll be decoding your... What they ask? Your trick questions. She'll be decoding your trick little <laughs> questions. Your cute little comments. Cute little comments. She's going to keep you guys in line. She's got the ruler, so you behave yourselves in class. About a half an hour. So oh, yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Jennifer. Okay. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Welcome, one. Welcome all to the savage day that we're finally looking for. Although it's not that savage. We're, we're only down 600 on the Dow. We were down 800. Uh, S&P off 99 and NASDAQ off 364. Uh, but there are deals out here. And so pick off some deals. 34 million on SoFi a little while ago. Uh, I'm showing SoFi now at 39 million shares. Great. Let's get rid of these loose-handed morons and get them out of here and move on. Larry, thumbs up for you, Bruce. Thanks, Larry. I love it. The only thing I'm selling, covered calls. Right on, H. Greg. Uh, Brad, uh, good earnings means the economy is still hot and they will raise rates. Well, okay, good. Uh, let's keep going. Oops, Jen G. M. P. I don't know what this means. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Beach Boy saying. Good morning, Jen from Duncan. Larry, good morning, Jen. Brad, SoFi is a bank and banks only trade between seven to ten times earnings. Where does that put SoFi? Oh, SoFi is about to turn the corner. And they're going to be on their way. Oh, my gosh, is this cheap. Any melted cheese today? Good morning, Jen. Oh, I wrote a 790 covered call on GameStop last Friday for this Friday. Uh, 109 strike. Bought it back at 250 just now. Uh, very nicely done. Love story time. Dear Uncle B, I love those stories from the days. 22% in one day. Whew, please tell us more about that. One day day we dropped 22 percent and we didn't know what the market was doing within half an hour of opening we had no idea what the quotes were everything crashed everything crashed we had troubles getting phone calls we ended up working it so that our desk trader in toronto our head guy the guy in toronto told all the desk traders um, um uh in vancouver calgary Montreal, or the rest of us, the, the other branch offices, he said, I'm calling you every half hour, and I'm going to give you the last trade of 20 different stocks. And uh, these will be from the floor, from floor traders. So it's, it's, the best, it's the best we can give you. Is right? Every 30 minutes, we'll give you trades, the last trades. And so uh, uh, the phone would ring. Our desk trader would get the phone call. And that would be... I don't know if Jen was still doing it at that time. I'm not sure if Jen was on the desk. No, she wasn't on the desk at that time anymore. So our desk trader would get this phone call, and it would be just frantically writing down. Uh, he'd have, he or she would have the symbols already pre-written, and they would just write in the numbers. And we had a, a, a whiteboard in the office, and the floor trader, the, the desk trader would give the piece of paper to one of our one of our assistants who would then grab a magic marker and then immediately write prices of key stocks so we'd have like uh, ibm uh, uh bell canada royal bank of canada uh, we'd have like american canadian stocks then we have key american stocks um and we would have maybe um, the u.s dollar canadian dollar rate uh, and maybe the treasury the 10-year treasury rate uh, and where the dow was like the actual dow index itself and this would be like two minutes old and then we would um, we would then um, 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 uh, you know have that up there, and um, we'd be on the phone to our clientele, and we'd tell them, okay, here's the latest from the floor right now. The Dow is off, you know, so many points, which is six point eight percent at right now, you know, with you know in the first two hours of the morning, and here are the stocks you have. They're this, 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 and this. All right. And, uh, and then a half an hour later, we'd get the next phone call. And that's the only way we could find out what the market was, was directly from the New York floor, the Toronto floor, from human beings on the pits, in the pits. It was the only way because the computer systems were all shut down. The analog systems were all overloaded. Uh, I was getting quotes from two hours ago on stocks as if those were fresh quotes. Useless, utterly useless. Um, 
they they were just telling us don't even bother turning your machine on or off we you're you're not going to get anything accurate whatsoever and so we would we'd have literally uh, the outcry system we were yelling it out across the office and there would be other brokers who would say uh, just got off the phone with a buddy of mine who works at Merrill Lynch just got these quotes and then they would yell across the office uh, five quotes that they just heard from a friend who just also got the cry out quotes just to, where are we at Dow's off 8.4 percent Dow's down six sixteen percent Dow's off 14 percent Dow's off 19 and a half percent I mean all day long and none of us went anywhere uh, we ordered lunch in uh, we canceled meetings out uh, no one left the office it was insanity no cell phones 1987 no uh, texting, uh, no emails existed, uh, fax machines existed. We would get faxes into the office with with the quotes. We'd get like a New York Stock Exchange quote might come across or I'd get a fax. A uh, fax would come into our office from uh, Toronto with, with numbers, but usually it would be the phone calls and we would just be writing it down and posting it. It was insanity. It was like going back 30 years, back to the 50s. Just to get the quotes, it was insanity. Anyway, there you have it. There you have it. Uh, where are we at now? Ninety three forty one on GameStop. Uh, the low of the day here ninety three uh, ninety two dollars on GameStop. I think that's the new low. I think that's the new, isn't it? Or is it was it ninety one seventy four? You remember that? You remember me telling you that? I was mentioning that this morning. Um, anyway. What can I say? Um, the United Arab Emirates headline just inter intercepted two ballistic missiles over Abu Dhabi. Two ballistic missiles have just been intercepted over the city of Abu Dhabi, which is the capital of the United Arab Emirates. Dubai is not the capital city. It's the financial hub, the tourist hub. Abu Dhabi is a 30-minute plane ride away, uh, 150, 200 miles away. Uh, the thinking is that these missiles are coming from the, what is it called, the Hutu rebel forces from Yemen, backed by Iran, uh, the Iranians. Uh, so it's the Saudis against the Iranians in Yemen, and now some skirmishes in UAE territory between Iran and Saudi Arabia. The Iranians won't attack Saudi uh, spots themselves. They'll use the, uh, the rebels from Yemen. Um, and they're also uh, mucking up the works in the meantime in the Middle East. Could this cause an oil problem? We're going to find out. Oil still down 236. The Dow down 565. S&P down 90. NASDAQ down 332. The markets seem to be ignoring this announcement at the moment uh, as not a uh, major concern at this point in time. This kind of talk can be good for U.S. oil producers. It can be extremely good for U.S. oil producers. Um, Chevron was a loser this morning uh, in the top 10. Now they're down 282 a share. They're not quite off as much as they were. This might be good news for Chevron. I don't know. Chevron's uh, high trade, 126.60. It's right now 124.21. So that's what's going on there. Goldman's still down 10 bucks, not 15. Boeing off eight, Microsoft off seven, uh, United off seven, not nine. A uh, little better performance on some of these Dow components. All righty. Oh boy, more crash of 87 stories, please. Uh, picked up some SoFi July 15, 15s for two bucks. Got 100 SoFi at 12.01. We're at 1221 on SoFi right now. Good deals. $94 right now on GameStop. A little recovery. Stink bid, says Inderman. Um, let's go. Anyone selling Sextera? Sextel wants to know. Um, let's see. And uh, let's go. Overtime ruins the NFL. Need to change. Both teams should get an opportunity to offense. Couldn't agree more. They should follow the Canadian Football League. You, you're first and 10 at the 35-yard line of the opposition. Go. And as soon as you either get in for with a, with a touchdown or you score a field goal, and then you have to turn the ball over no matter what. And then the ball is turned over to the other team at the other 35-yard line, 35-yard line, and you guys are going for a field goal or a touchdown. So if the first team gets a field goal and you try to get a, a, a touchdown, you can't. It's fourth and 15 on the 30-yard line or something like that or whatever. You, you kick a field goal, 
And now the other team gets the ball. It's now sudden death, though. You each get a guaranteed possession, and then it's sudden death. And this is exciting up in Canada because both teams get the ball, and it's either a, a touchdown or not. Now, if you get a touchdown, it's mandatory. You must attempt a two-point a two-pointer. Mandatory. You have to try a two-pointer. You can't just kick a field goal. You have to go for two. So if you score a touchdown and you go for the two-pointer and you get it, the other team gets the thirty gets, gets the ball thirty-five yard line. They got to score a touchdown and a two-pointer to keep it going. Get real exciting, and and both teams get the ball. I think that would be it. The Bills and the Chiefs game had two offenses that deserved to win and two defenses that did not. There you go. Everyone was tired. Anyway. Lots of fun, kids. What's going on? Uh, miraculous. I'm thumbs up number 465, Bruce. Uh, thank you. Oh, we're at 480 thumbs ups, everybody. Hit the thumbs up button for me. Do me a favor. Hit that sucker and get me to 500 thumbs ups right now. That would be great, guys. Thank you so, so much. Appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. So much fun. So much fun. So much fun. Uh, let's go. What else is going on here? Uh, I'd rather have a 22% drop in one day if we can move on. I hear you. Um, let's see. What else is going on? 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 Um, let's see. SSR for SoFi. Ah, short selling restrictions. Okay. And I have half a mind to write some January 2024 calls on SoFi for like $35. Uh, bank the premium and chill. Might not even get there in two years with this market. There's you got half a mind. Uh, anyone know if there's a way to check the time remaining on wash sales infidelity? No idea. Uh, SSR GameStop? Question mark. SSR? Um, yeah, I guess it's been down 12%. Yeah, it's over 10% down. So it would be SSR on GameStop too. I think that's right, Beach Boy. So by turning the corner, says Nicholas, uh, twelve twenty-four right now uh, on so by the Dow down five nineteen. We were eight hundred odd down, uh, down eighty four on S and P. Nasdaq down three oh six. All righty, um, we shall see uh, what is going on. GameStop down twelve. My covered call down two bucks. Okay. Nice. Um, people making money on their covered calls. GameStop, 9404. SoFi, 1225. Rocket Lab, 830. Uh, Matterport, 954. ME at 420. Spires at 204 and a half. ATIP, 315. Smart Rent, 681. Sixtera, 1063. AMC is 1598. Robinhood, 1166. Uh, Vanek down 466, 267. Home Depot up. $4.17 to 353. IBM down 257. Microsoft down 749. Apple down 319. Goldman down 911 to 334. It's come back six bucks. Did you pick off some cheap poor man covered calls? Did you were you able to do that? This was an opportunity. Let's see what happens. Um, all kinds of fun going on here. Uh, what else is happening? Cisco up eight cents. Um, Facebook down six. Amazon down thirty six. Tesla down forty two to nine oh one. Google down fifty three dollars a share. A uh, bad Bed Bath Beyond up twenty seven cents. Uh, Costco up four eighty. A couple of greenies here and there. Just a couple. Interesting stuff. Um, interesting. Uh, Bolton says, U.S. economy has applied breaks in January amid Omicron wave, the market surveys say. That'll be interesting to see what happens with interest rates and forecasts for interest rates. I'm curious about that. Uh, we shall see just how this plays out. GameStop, 93.87, 93.77. The low on GameStop today, $92 even. Okay, there you go. Uh, how about $10 SoFi leaps? How about those? Uh, Bradley, a new member. Thank you, Bradley, for popping in as a brand new Gold Bagel member. Fantastic. Welcome to the Gold Bagel family. 504 thumbs ups at the same time that this announcement's coming out. 
This is awesome stuff, you guys. Thank you very much. UAE intercepts ballistic missiles over Abu Dhabi. Second time that that announcement is being made on the markets. Uh, the Dow down 489, not reacting negatively. Uh, S&P down 82, NASDAQ down 305. Um, let's see. Let's see. Bradley, I've been meaning to upgrade. I've been struggling to do it from my phone. Happy to be here, Bruce. Fabulous, Bradley. Thank you, man, for, for popping up and uh, moving up to the gold level. Fantastic that you're here. 93.50 on GameStop, $1.50 above the low of the day. Uh, Matterport, 9.53 down 80 cents. So by 12.18, that uh, at the moment, the low of the day, 11.83 on SoFi. So 35 cent recovery down to 12.18 at the moment. A uh, volume 44.3 million. We're not going to do even 100 million today on SoFi. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, again, the volume might be drying up on the sell side. This is possibly very good news on SoFi. If we can't hit 100, 150 million volume on a down day like this on SoFi, we've run out of stock. These guys are done. I'm just wondering. I'm just saying. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. What else is going on here? Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, Gaiotti Picknos. Hmm, yeah. This is surprising. My 109 for the same date dropped 600 from when I wrote it on Friday. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, what else? Was some, someone's seeing something here. Thought it would be down uh, more, says Picknos. It, it's a uh, Jan 28th, 103. I was only in the money for part of the Friday afternoon. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Of course, this is Monday and they die Friday. Bruce, you need to eat your entire freezer of bagels, man. Uh, we need the market to turn around. Only you and your your gluttonous, <laughs> gluttonous, <laughs> loud chewing. Uh, That's the only way to get the market turned around. Uh, that's it. Uh, the acronym for ballistic missile is BM. The market's currently making a BM coincidence. Uh, 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 is that what you think? Uh, we're still down 483 on the Dow, and 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 when I say only, we were down 880 a little while ago. We we bounced back here. We're down 86 on S&P. We're down 333, 336 on Nasdaq. So this market is not looking um, at this uh, ballistic missile thing as a as a uh, serious issue at the moment. Give it time. It might uh, it'll take a little more time to absorb this. Um, not good to see that going on, to say the least. Okay. Rocket Lab down 80 cents at 820. SoFi 1211 uh, down 178. GameStop 9289, uh, 89 cents away from a new low. Uh, Matterport 950 down 84 cents. ME down 37 cents to 413. Spire down 19 cents to 203. ATIP 314 down 24 cents. Um, smart rent down 34 cents at 675. Sextera down 19 to 1067 at the moment. Um, we're up five bucks on Home Depot right now. Uh, Microsoft 286 down 921, 929. Apple down 416. Goldman down 989 at 334. And the high of the day was 337 on Goldman. So we're coming back on right now at the moment. Um, 92.85 right now on game stop um let's see what else is going on here uh, cisco up three cents uh facebook down 730 amazon down 55 tesla down 51 google down 60 right now cisco up three cents yep there it is okay oh we're following all kinds of stuff here aren't we aren't we just um uh, man Who's reporting the ICBM thing? It's coming over Market Watch on the breaking headline stories. That's what I'm seeing here. <laughs> Dow now down 490. <laughs> oh boy, pardon me, folks. And let me take a look over here to here. See if I get anything there. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I got nothing on Wall Street Journal at the moment. No, no breaking headlines there that I can tell. Um, let's see anything in the Middle East over here? 
Um, the Houthis attack UAE again in threat to business and tourism hub. Um, but this was uh, as of earlier this morning, I believe. Um, and I got nothing. I have nothing else as far as like current this moment uh, breaking anything on this uh, on this one. So I, I don't know. I'm just reading uh, what I'm seeing coming across on market watch okay um <laughs> how much longer till we are considered to be in a recession i was only a kid when it, it, it all happened in 08 uh we're nowhere near on uh in a recession at all nowhere near uh let's see um uh, yeah, weird. AP is claimed to be reporting it on Market Watch, but it's not on AP's page either. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, yep. Oh, DQ, uh, GameStop. Uh, my calls, buyback stinks hit. I got them back. Bottom cheap. Bradley, hi, Bruce. The gold member shows Wednesday at 8 p.m. your time zone, right? No, 8 p.m. Eastern time, Bradley. I am live Wednesday night. 8 o'clock Eastern Time for Uncle Bruce Prime Time. Join me there. Gold members only. 8 o'clock Wednesday night, Prime Time Eastern Time. Says Also says Bobby Atkinson. Right on. Uh, Dave, I finally found it. I found it. Okay, found it on the AP page. Right on. All righty. 92.48 on GameStop. Um, just a moment ago, uh, we're 40, 40 odd cents away from the low of the day. On GameStop, Dow's down now, 508. We're down 89 on S and P, and we're down 341 on Nasdaq. There we have it right now. Um, DQ, we're back in it, baby. Says Coyote. There you go. Um, GameStop, 92.55. Last trade. Uh, Theodore, a 199 uh, donation is Cleveland Cliffs a good buy? I have no idea. I don't know what they do. I don't know who they are. I don't follow. Can't give me a straight answer on that. Uh, down 522, 523 on Dow, 91 point drop on S&P, and NASDAQ off 351 right now. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, let's see if we can make some more money. Uh, keep it going. Um, Moderna is digging me a grave, uh, says DQ. Yep, what can I say? It is what it is. Uh, we've got uh, we got red everywhere today. Uh, no question about it. The question is how red and how intense are we going to go on it? Um, we'll see. There are definitely steals of deals here. Absolute steals of deals. Um, GameStop just isn't eager to want to really give up the ghost though is it isn't that amazing how this is uh, not really dropping up which kind of begs the question if we get a recovery on the dow the market a little kind of a bounce rally where will gamestop rally to will it rally to like 110 stop there or will it actually rally to like 135 and, and just really go for a run and then peak out this is why you as writers have to keep an eye now on volumes and momentum on on the markets and the stock. Uh, we traded 1.7 million on GameStop, as you know, that is not heavy at all. And uh, telling me that any kind of a rally here might be a dead cat bounce to like maybe 100, maybe not even 100, maybe maybe even 102, maybe you know we'll see how this goes. Okay, Island Girl, Bruce, I'm number four. 22 on the thumbs up scale for you thank you so much uh, everyone we're at now 512 thumbs ups and counting they keep coming in here i uh, love you guys thank you for the thumbs ups helping us out uh we are climbing up to that uh, 600 level now and we are grateful for this support keep those thumbs ups coming in you guys love you for that uh, Dr. Walter, new low on GameStop, 91.51. There it is. Stink bid should be coming in left, right, and center here for option uh, buyers, those who wrote options. 91.71, 91.77. Low of the day now, 91.50 on GameStop. 
Okay. Um, I was just writing a 120, and Tio says 130, maybe. Ugh. <laughs> just, I'm just, hey, I'm just watching here. Uh, 1204 on SoFi coming into cheap pricing again. Even cheaper. 939 and 943 on Matterport. Uh, deals, deals, and deals. Oh, my, 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 my. We're down now 591 on uh, the Dow. Oil slumps as Russia, Ukraine tensions, Middle East conflict, unsettled traders, and yet oil is off. It's still down 185. It was down over $2. Interesting how that's going. Duncan is saying good morning. Alberto. Uh, Joanne is saying, uh, Sean, 08 was bad for me. I had to sell my house. It was a tough one. Oh, seven, eight, nine. Oh, those are tough. Those are rough years. The entire meltdown. Uh, 9188 now, 9181 on GameStop, 30 cents away from the low of the day on GameStop. Uh, right here, 92.24. A little recovery, a little bounce back um, just after another low. Watching it closely. Thank you all. Thank you. Uh, a couple of donations have come in from PayPal. I've been been so focused on what's going on here. I've missed it. Thank you from um, Marco uh, Di Pasquale. Thank you. Uh, registering for Saturday's class on the, on Poor Man Cover Calls. Thank you so much. I'm I'm Pate uh, on the channel. Looking forward to it, uh, Marco. Thanks, buddy, so much. And I look forward to seeing you. Make sure to send me a private email confirming that, please, so that I can uh, email you back with your uh, link, okay? Uh, uh, Joseph, I'd like to uh, sign up for the Poor Man Covered Call. Fantastic. Joseph, we'll get you in there. Uh, just uh, make sure you get a $150 donation to our PayPal account, and we'll get you registered in there for sure. Thank you to Jens. Jens Toft, uh, Flaskyard, thanks, buddy. Uh, I mostly donate on red days. Uh, thank you, man, <laughs> from Denmark. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that. Uh, uh, these are these are pretty cool on days like this. I gotta tell you, fantastic. And uh, we got more. We have uh, Maureen coming in. Uh, fantastic, Maureen. Um, and I'll, I'll send you back an email, Maureen. I'll get you, I'll get you an email back after the show's over. Fabulous. Uh, thank you all, um, uh, for, um, um, letting me know you want to become, uh, want to be part of the, uh, part of the class this, this Saturday. We'll definitely get you guys uh, figured out straight and away and we'll take it from there. Absolutely. Uh, thank you all uh, for being here already. Uh, it's been a busy one. We're down 585 on the Dow right now as we keep watching this uh, this uh, developing story going on here. Um, uh, we're noticing that there are uh, headlines coming out of the Mideast. Uh, Abu Dhabi, the uh, capital city of uh, the United Arab Emirates, uh, kind of Dubai's it's not Twin City, but it's uh, about the same size as Dubai. They got hit with um, ballistic missiles today, apparently. Um, we know where those are from. Uh, we know that they're shot, uh, that they're launched by the rebels uh, from Yemen who are establishing uh, spots, um, place places to attack from within. Um, perhaps they're shooting them from Yemen. I don't know for certain, uh, but I can tell you uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, experts out there are telling the world those are Iranian ballistic missiles uh, made by Iran for the Yemen, Yemen, the Yemenis, is that the way to say it? Um, this isn't going to go over too well with uh, the White House and others. Uh, there could be repercussions here. We'll watch this closely. Um, the Iranians and the Saudis are having a spat, and it's Yemen that's the territory, but now the UAE is being dragged into it, and we'll see how this goes. These uh, mis missiles were shot down over the, uh, over the skies of uh, Abu Dhabi. They did not land, apparently. But we only have sketchy details, and that's all we know. So I'll, you know, we'll keep watching it, and I'll let you know what I know when I know more. The markets are uh, are off 558, uh, not because of this, but that doesn't help. And uh, we'll see what's going on. Okay. All righty. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Cisco suddenly is unhappy, says DQ. 
We're down 96 on S&P. We're down 370 on NASDAQ. Over on, uh, over on Cisco, we're down 43 cents right now. It just suddenly went down. Uh, Goldman down 10 bucks. Apple down 375. Microsoft soft down 988. The Dow is down 517 at the moment, 500 on the Dow, down 2, 238 on IBM, Home Depot up 492, Bannock down 540. Uh, that's what we got going there. Um, uh, GameStop 92.79, the low of the day 91.50 uh, on GameStop. Okay. Uh, SoFi earnings will be February the 9th. Be careful if you're writing uh, on SoFi's at all. Yeah, don't be writing SoFi calls. Just buy them up. Um, let's see. Uh, Robert says 525 thumbs ups, man. Uh, and uh, let's see. Um, yeah, Uncle Russo, I was just listening to the CNBC, and they were talking about a possible acquisition of Kohl's by Starboard. That was one of your specs. Uh, right earlier in the year um i don't think i was speculating on coals being taken over but i did mention this story this morning uh, it's not a spac uh no no that's not a spac um yeah i'd like some 20 dollar action on at least one of these stocks something to look at other than big red numbers um flint i'm down 70 percent on spire Grr. blessings to everybody glenn says uh, in the middle east region for peace and prosperity war is not the answer Damn it, Jim says, um, good news uh, doesn't seem to make the stock go up anymore. Arico, the market has lurched into free fall mode. Uh, Franz, why is Matterport bleeding so badly? 9.55 last trade. Robert, if Russia invades Ukraine, how do you think it would affect the stock market? Well, it depends on the reaction of the Western powers, and it depends on just how restrictive trading gets, and it also depends whether the Russians will retaliate with any of their allies retaliating for trade sanctions. Uh, we could have a bit of a you know pissing war going on here. We'll see what's going on. Um, we don't know, but uh, time will tell. Uh, apparently Disney and Microsoft are the biggest losers as the Dow skids now uh, upwards of 600 points. Right now it's only on 514, so we're not even uh, at, the, at those lows. Um, I see Disney the fifth worst performer, maybe the sixth worst performer, but I don't see Microsoft as the, well, it's the number two worst performer. Sorry, I have to say, yes, that's true. Uh, the, the worst is Goldman, uh, down 1032, uh, Boeing off eight bucks. United uh, has been down here all day, down 725. JP Morgan down 459. I'm talking about uh, stocks losing the most dollar values. Uh, as far as percentage chains, percentage changes, the biggest percentage losers would be Disney, Boeing, JP Morgan, Microsoft, Goldman, Apple, uh, and uh, Apple. And those are 2% or worse. Uh, the best performers would be Home Depot up one and a quarter percent, Travelers up a percent, Verizon up a tenth of a percentage point and then stocks that really haven't got a lot of problems here would be walmart intel mcdonald's 3m cisco amgen nike and procter and gamble they're down less than a percentage point or so and they're not really having much of a problem there at all there you go those that's what i'm showing right now ah let's see um what else is going here? Is GameStop going below 92? 92.73 right now. Uh, 2 million volume. Uh, Rob, probably not good for a second. Um, GameStop did touch a low of uh, 91.50 on 1.8 million volumes so far in the day. Uh, but it's been a real slow grind down here. Very reluctant uh, seller of stock. 5.12 on the down dip for the Dow. Uh, we're off uh, 86 on S and P, and we're off two 328 on Nasdaq right now. That's what's going on, kids. I I got a bagel coming. I sense that we have a bagel. You sense a bagel? I sense it. <laughs> you heard the door open. It's time for the markets <laughs> to go up. Uh, the bagel has arrived. That's right. Uncle Bruce and his chomping will begin. And that you know what that means. The market's got to go up. Really. Yeah. How can the market go down when Bruce? Back. The market goes up. When Bruce eats a bagel, you know the markets go up. It happens every time. <laughs> oh, Jen, thank you so much.
Fantastic. Uh, let's see how it works out, kids. Uh, we'll see soon enough. Uh, 92.59 on GameStop, the low 91.50, and the Dow down right now 584. That's where we're at. What's going to happen as Bruce eats his bagel, kids? Uh, are we going higher or lower? Let's hope we go higher. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. We got a bagel going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn it, Jim. I've been here for a year. And Jen hasn't brought me breakfast not one time. I saw Jen. Mm. Ron Matterport is an absolute steal. Just unbelievable long term buy. 953. I agree. So by 1225, man. What a bargain there. Rocket Lab, 835. Oh my god. ME416. Oh, are you kidding me? Spire 207. ATIP 307. Smart Rent 688. Sixtera 1067. Bargoons all over the page. Man, oh man. Let's go. Mm, mm, mm. Bagel, bagel, bagel. Mm. Welcome to Stock Markets with Bruce, the only YouTuber who eats a bagel live every day. Oh, yeah. Mm. Bagel, bagel, bagel. Yeah, baby. Oh, boy. Yeah, man. Let's get these markets to go up right now. Enough of this down dip. Come on, baby. Let's go. Nee, 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 nee. Here we go. We're going higher. We're going higher, baby. Nee. The Knights of Knee say we must go higher. We're not going lower. We're going to go higher. The Knee. The Knights of Knee. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. We're going higher. Turn this market around. Larry's doing it. Larry knows. Hit those neat emojis, people. It's only a flesh wound. What? You've I've taken off your entire arm. Ah, no problem at all. From blur. Neat, 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 neat. Trading up. Neat, neat, neat. Here we go. Rob. Neat, neat, neat. <laughs> Can't help but the markets can only go up now. Bergen, me. <laughs> How in the world can the markets go down when this is happening? Sean and Wendy are here. Me, me, me. Doctor Daddy, me, me. Sean Gill, me. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> We're behind the rabbit. No, it's the rabbit. H. Gregory, me, me. <laughs> Oh, paper gamer. Knee, knee. You come back, I'll bite your kneecaps. Aurora, knee, knee, knee. <laughs> mm. Joe, I've been staring out the window since the market opened. What does the sky falling look like? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, markets, let's go.
Dr. Walter. Nick, Nick. <laughs> you need a killer rabbit emoji. <laughs> oh, yeah. Five hundred forty two thumbs ups. Thank you, everybody. Tim the Enchanter says it's a powerful beast. <laughs> oh, my. Mm, 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 mm. Wonderful, just wonderful. <laughs> Fantastic, all of you. Thank you for being here today. Good to see you here. We're going to get through this market, not a problem. And just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound, I tell you. <laughs> 543 thumbs ups, and they keep coming. <laughs> Ferrigan, hey, son, what did you do all day today? I was watching a dude eating a bagel and saying, me, me, me. Very good, son. Keep up the good work. Very well done. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Welcome to the show, to the craziness of the markets. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, markets. Let's roll. Let's get going. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, here we go. Come on, markets. You can go higher. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to send you one just out of kindness. Thank you. One last piece of bagel. And then the turnaround is underway. Oh, my, my. 1222 on, on soap pipe. Looking a little better. Emmy's coming up a bit. Spire is at 206. A little better. Six tear down 19 cents. Looks better. Mm. <laughs> oh, so good. Hey, Nick, how you doing, buddy? 
Number 544, reporting in. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, so nice. So good. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> I just woke up. What a red day. Come get my stock. $20 so far, February 18, covered call. Come again. Oh, man. I just bought some more ATIP. Bruce, my March, April SoFi contracts are also very red. I feel um, inclined to add as many more as I can to help recover losses, but I don't know if I'm just being desperate or being smart. It's more risk. Well, I think buying uh, SoFi down here, I, I just I just think it's great. Um, the shareholders uh, uh, are the problem, not the corporation, and uh, earnings are coming uh, in the not uh, not too long. From a couple of weeks from now, we get the earnings report. All kinds of hype will be around it. This this correction will be a thing of the past. We'll move through it, and I'm talking about the market correction. Uh, but but that's just me. You have to believe. Anyway. Hmm. Uncle Bruce, while eating a muffin with Smarties, <laughs> I can see now that SoFi is near a signal in the MA lines. Do you think it can go lower today? I'm not saying it has to go lower, but I'm scared. Um, I just look at, I just get more aggressive the lower they get. I get more eager to want in. Not a good day. Here's the speech by news of Russian planes skirting the Golan border alongside Syrians as a show of force and unity. Plans to evacuate brothers and sisters off Ukraine. Chief Justice passes 74. It's a sad day. All kinds of stuff happening over in Israel and the Middle East. Uh, all kinds of stuff going on. Rocket Lab down 77 to 823. SoFi at 1216 down 173. The low of 1183 today. So we're at 33 cent recovery so far on, on SoFi. GameStop 9251. The low of the day 9150 today. Uh, Matterport 9.30 down a dollar three. Me uh, down 39 cents to 4.11. Spire down 18 to 2.04. We got um, ATIP down 34 to 3.04. Smart Rent <coughs> down 35 cents <coughs> to 6.76. The low was 6.61. Uh, Sextera the low on the day was 10.51. We're 10.66 down 20 cents on 103,000 volume. AMC down. 243 at 1554. Robinhood down 152 to 1146. Uh, Vanek down 776 to 264. Home Depot up two bucks. IBM down three bucks. The Dow now again lower, uh, 713 now, uh, approaching the lower end of the day again. Let's see if we test the, no, the low levels or not. Microsoft down 1133. Apple down 421, Goldman down 1260, Cisco down 70 cents, Facebook off eight dollars, Amazon down 51, Tesla down 63, Google off 65 dollars a share, Bed Bath Beyond up 22 cents, Royal Caribbean down 397 to 7512, and Costco went red again 250 on the negative side, 16 dollar drop on Nvidia today. And Moderna down 15 to 145. Intel off 88 cents to 51.16. Micron down $2.42. There's the story. There's the dealio. What we have happening right at the moment. All right. Um, Tama, Tama, Toma T says, my two-year-old son in the car says, neat, neat, neat. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. Good luck to the simpletons in the wars to come. Oh my goodness. Uh, 9212 on GameStop. 9150 is the low. Um, crude oil slumps amid escalating Russia Ukraine tension and Middle East conflict. We're down 215 a share uh, at 8299. Mm -hmm. 
There it is. Dow off 716, S&P down 115, uh, NASDAQ down 419 points. Uh, taking a look at the um, at these indexes here, uh, yeah, S&P approaching the low, but not quite there. NASDAQ approaching, but not quite there. And oil is near its lows of the day and kind of hanging around. On interest rates, the U.S. 10-year Treasury, 1.718. That is at the lower end of the range here today. We we're at 1.76 earlier, now 171 on the U.S. 10-year. Money is moving into U.S. currency, U.S. treasuries. Uh, that is where the money is headed for, for protection. ARK Innovation, the ETF, is at 66.98. The low of the day, 66.06. High of the day, 70. Um, and this uh, is a reflection of just how badly the Dow, the Nasdaq 100 is doing other than Tesla, uh, every every other stock, uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. Um, Nasdaq 100, um, seven stocks make up 48% of the index. 93 stocks make up the rest, the other 48, 52%, excuse me. And this ETF is reflecting the other 93 stocks, not the fangs, not the big boys, the rest of them. And it's off 6.5% where the NASDAQ is down 3%. So you can understand how badly ARC is doing. That means it shows you how bad the 93 others are doing on the NASDAQ versus the top seven. Uh, give you an idea. All right. It's off double the index. Uh, so it's bad. All right, um, GameStop, 90.10. We just broke into a new low, uh, just went through the 90.50 uh, level, the 91 level. 90.10 on GameStop, down 16.26. We're going to push uh, 90 around. We'll see the bid size on 90, if it can hold or not, or whether it'll be blown out. Volume now on GameStop, 2.2 million on the day. The Dow is off 688. S&P down 116, NASDAQ down 413. Any of you out there um, uh, putting in bids, uh, hopefully your, your stink bids are getting hit on your GameStop calls that you wrote the other day. Uh, hopefully you've done that. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Just got some more game stuff. Take me past 200 now for some SoFi leaps. Um, let's see. Uh, will GameStop go below 90? We'll find out. We're at 90, 56, 90, 10 range. We're jumping around the low of the day, 90, 10. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Arico thinks that once GameStop hits 80 and lower, there won't be the same momentum to bring it back to the highs we saw last year. Uh, don't count on that. One never knows. Uh, with GameStop, you never, never really know. Um, we're down 685 on the Dow, 111 on S&P, and 405 on NASDAQ. Okay. Mm-mm. Mm. 90.55 on GameStop, 12.13 on SoFi, 8.22 Rocket Lab, 9.30 on Matterport, uh, ME407. Uh, 7.05 is the drop now on the Dow, 7.05. Um, okay, 7.10 on the Dow now, 7.10 is the drop. Okay, thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you for 552 thumbs up so far. I appreciate that, too. We're going for 600 now. That is uh, great. Thank you for that. Um, there we go. Keeping up on all this stuff here. Uh, and... Uh, just speculating where GameStop's going to be. 9068, 9052 right now. Uh, it seems to be the 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 price at the moment. 710 is the drop on the Dow. 
Um, and uh, we're down 116 now in S&P and 426 or so in NASDAQ oil off 242 to 82.72. Okay. And there we are. 9068, 9086 on GameStop. Okay. What a day. What a crazy day. Uh, anyone selling here has got to be being forced out uh, un involuntarily, not voluntarily, my opinion. There's no point in selling into this market, none whatsoever. These are irrational, oversold positions. The snapback correction will eliminate these quickly when we go from here. We'll see how this all works out. It's more of a shareholder issue than an, an a corporate issue, in my opinion. <clears throat> okay. 90.82 now on uh, GameStop. 90.82. The volume on, on GameStop is now 2.26 million today. Okay. 2.26 million. SoFi now has traded uh, a total of uh, 56 million shares. That's down. From lately, we're we're not we're not even. Uh, I don't know if we'll hit 100 million today. I'm not sure if we're going to make it. Um, that's uh, telling. Um, in a good way, we're down this much, and we can't hit record high volumes. That's telling me there's no there's nothing else left to come in. We're we're running out of paper uh, coming down here. Uh, that's a very good sign. Mm. Picking up these sesame seeds, man. Mm. <laughs> so far, twelve nineteen a share right now. Ninety one eighteen. We've popped up a dollar on GameStop again. The Dow's down 650, 658, just come back about 60 points. The uh, Dow's uh, got a little rally going. S&P down 105, NASDAQ down 396. All three markets are, are, are doing a little buy-in right now. There's a little buy program coming through, it looks like. We'll see how much oomph there is behind it on this market right now. Dow's down 672. We're back to 91.10 on GameStop, a dollar higher than the low of the day. Okay. Michael, I just bought Meet Kevin SoFi shares. That's what I've really done. <laughs> Cheers, everybody, from uh, Palm Desert, California. Um, hope you're doing okay going to be in the mid to upper 70s all this week. I think we get 81 sometime in the next week. We have a shot at 81 degrees, maybe. Uh, let's see, where is it? Yeah, that's Sunday, this coming Sunday. Uh, we might see 81, but we're 79, 73, 75 right now. Quite delightful, pure sunshine here. Absolutely fabulous uh, uh, weather here. We do enjoy it. Um, 90, 81, 90, 73 on GameStop, 60 cents away from the low of the day again. A little, a little uh, sell wave coming in. We'll see just what's going on. Um, 90, 65, 90, 32 just came through. 90, 18. We're eight cents from a new low on GameStop. Going to take a run at 90. See if we break through it or not. We'll find out if the stink bids are enough. There are enough of them to stop the sell-off to break 90. Uh, my personal guess is unlikely. Uh, if there's enough momentum, it'll go through it, but we'll see. Whew. Let's see. Uh, yep, 90, 82, a uh, little jump here. Ninety eighty nine. The Dow off six fifty nine. S and P down one hundred six, and Nasdaq down three ninety five. That's where we're at, folks. Um, let's see. Uh, 
Cheddar, I voluntarily sold all my options and a lot of different things on Friday and it saved me from losing a lot of money. I got a bunch of cash again and I had my SoFi share still. Right on, Cheddar. Doing whatever you're doing, however you're doing it. Uh, 90 20. Back to 90 20 again on on uh, on uh, GameStop. Uh, SoFi 12 19 down $1.70. GameStop down $16.09 at the moment. Volume on GameStop is now 2.4 million. And the volume on SoFi is now 56.7 million. Okay. Um, Edge says, I just saw 89.99. Uh, 90.01, you're probably right. We probably have broken 90. Uh, we may just have had it happen here just a second ago. Um, uh, let's see what's going on. 90, 11, 90, 20, um, and low of 89, 69, actually. Uh, 2.4 million volume is now showing with an 80, 16, 89, 69 price for the low price. Uh, 90, 36 at the moment. Um, okay, that's where I'm showing GameStop right now. Low of the day at the moment um yeah bash same thing uh yep there it is um uh, uh, selling for a loss not a bad thing if it's a slight loss and the stocks go down another 20 percent um let's hit 88 and lower baby says bash i want deals on on gamestop 9001 again Coming back down again for a second time, 2.41 million, uh, now 90, 30, 90, 40. So we're jumping around quite a bit. Um, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Rocket Lab, 820 down 80 cents. SoFi, 1210 down 179. Matterport, 926 down a buck seven. ME down 47 cents to 403. Spire down 18 to 204. ATIPs at 303 down 35 cents. Smart rent 676 down 35 cents. Sixtera down 20 cents to 1066. AMC down 268 today, 1528. These stocks are all, a lot of these stocks are in the 10% rule. They can't be shorted right now uh, like they normally short them. Uh, there are short sale restrictions going on for the balance of today and all day tomorrow. So we could have quite a rally tomorrow on some of these stocks because the short sale restrictions will be in place and it's very difficult to just put in uh, sell orders to slam down stocks on shorting okay is this the time of the day where SoFi trades sideways until 1255 I bought back my $98 on GameStop way too early this morning should have waited but made 105 bucks and the wins a win says Kent there you go um, what is this word uh, sell everyone is saying once GameStop is 88, you're going to see some serious poop. Uh, 98, 68, 90, 68 right now. 90, 41. Uh, Cheddar, well, if you do your numbers and get into the market for less and have more shares, why not write? It's a win for me, I think. There you go. A win is a win is a win is a win. And we keep moving on. We keep moving forward. Um, there it is. Um, 9041 on GameStop. Do we get any kind of a dead cat recovery? Will the Dow have any kind of a recovery? We're down 730 on the Dow. We're still hanging near the lows, but not at the lows. We're off 112 on SP. We're down 426 on NASDAQ. NASDAQ is down 3%, SP down 2.58, and the Dow down 2.10%. Okay. So we are negative, but we are not free falling from here at the moment we seem to be kind of hovering above the lows of the day from an hour and a bit ago so we're going to watch obviously all of that um make sure to join me this afternoon at three o'clock eastern and don't forget i'll be on for the last hour of trading this afternoon on this channel also tonight seven o'clock eastern time for members of traveling with bruce my other channel i'll be doing a one-hour hangout show for my uh TWB members and at eight o'clock it's a wide open big show the travel show tonight eight o'clock eastern time on traveling with Bruce you want to hang out with me and my gang over there 
We'll be talking cruise ships and everything else. Uh, there are all kinds of cruise news coming out. Oh, my God, have we got news. And all kinds of other stuff. So we'll be joining that. Um, then Wednesday night, don't forget, primetime, 8 o'clock Wednesday. Primetime with Uncle Bruce for gold member, bagel members only. You guys right there, become a gold member, bagel member right now, and you'll get that alert when we announce that show. Uh, and also this Saturday... Uh, for gold members and everybody else, join myself with Auntie Jen. Auntie Jen and I will be live Saturday, this Saturday, at 10 in the morning, Eastern Time, for lesson number 11. 11, lesson number 11. We're going to be talking about um, how to use poor man covered call trading, trading strategies, writing strategies, to quit your day job, we're going to try to talk to you about how you can get out of the rat race, become self-employed, and use poor man covered calls to do it where you don't need a million dollars to be self-employed. You don't need $200,000 to be self-employed. You can do it for way less than this. Join us Saturday for the class. If you want to be in that class, send me an email right here to this address. Right here. Send me an email. Bruce Farmer at Hotmail.com and say, Uncle Bruce, I would like to join you for the live class. Uh, put me down, and um, what you need to do is look down below this description. You'll find our PayPal link down there. Send a $150 donation to that PayPal link, and that is your admission into the class. It's going to be about two and a half hours or so in time. And... Uh, You'll be able to ask questions live, which Auntie Jen will be the moderator of all the comments. It'll be just like this format here. You'll see the comments over here, right over, right over there. Let's see if I can make this work. Over there will be the, that's you, and I'll be here. But behind me will be a whiteboard, so we're not going to be in this room. We'll be in another part of this condo instead, and uh, you can uh, uh, join us for a live class. After the class is over, we get them edited. We'll have that class edited down from about two and a half hours to about two hours or so. Then it'll be uploaded on my website, stockmarketswithbruce.ca, where the first 10 classes are already waiting. We're going to add class number 11 to that list. And all of you who are here live this Saturday, you will receive a link to the final edited version of that class on the website for you to watch anytime you want. So you get it's a twofer. You get to be part of the live crew and you get the rerun later, which you can watch again and again and again if you like. And so please consider coming on by. And um, if you want to get in there, send me an email. Say, Uncle Bruce, I want in on that class. I want to know how can I get self-employed, man. I want out. I don't want to work for anybody anymore but myself. And even on days like today, I can make money Show me how this is done, please. Please, God, help me. Um, I'm there. We're looking forward to this, folks. So let's see how we can do that, folks. I'd look forward to uh, having you uh, come on by, okay? Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Um, where are we at right here? We are uh, just coming through here. A few more comments before I uh, finish up this show. Uh, I got the poor man part covered, says JW. Uh, folks, still high um, IV on SoFi calls out to December 2023. 88 and 93% up from 66 for the chart. Is this a sign to stay away uh, that they're overpriced? Who knows? Uh, let's see. Um, what else is going on here? Um, uh, how, how, I might have missed this. H. Gregor wants to know, how soon will the replay of the classes be available if I can make it sound? Um it should be Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. We should have him up. Uh, it, it, I, uh, I have Emily do the editing, and she does get weekends off, you know. Um, yeah, she has enough to do. Um, so by Monday, Tuesday, sometime on Tuesday, Wednesday, they'll, they'll be up. And then they'll be up forever, and away you go. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Uh, never mind. He's answering it. Says Gregory. There he goes. Uh, GameStop, 90.51, 90.22. Um, three more days of this, and I'm selling out completely. That's it. I, I'm giving it three more days, and then I'm done. That's it. That's it. Only I give you three more days, and that's all there is. I'm not waiting another second after three more days. 650 point drop on the Dow. Kind of come back about 60, 70 points in the last what 20 minutes. 
Uh, we're down 108 on S&P. We're down 420 on NASDAQ. <clears throat> kind of jumping around a little bit here. Um, yeah, okay. 90.22 on uh, GameStop, 90.40. Matterport, 90.27. And SoFi, 12.18. Uh, lots to watch, lots to follow. Um, and Uncle Bruce, at what time is the class this Saturday? Uh, Carol, this Saturday's class will start at 10 o'clock Eastern time in the morning. 10 a.m. Eastern time. So that's 7 in the morning L.A. time, uh, 8 in the morning, um, what would that be, mountain time, like Denver, 9 in the morning kind of Chicago-like time, and 10 in the morning New York time. And uh, and it's about two hours, two and a half hours. So uh, there you go. Uh, there you go. I'm down about 20%. We're not selling a damn thing, says Michael. I, I am happy. No, I am worried. Yeah, I'm not worried. <laughs> SoFi 1219, GameStop 9027, Matterport 929, the Dow down 665, SP down 110, NASDAQ down 429, okay, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time, Carol, is the time of the class, um, Israel, it's 5 p.m. Israel time, there you go, perfect for Beach Boy. Perfect. He'll be chomping on something and listening and what you guys can pick your nose. You can you can ruffle up your hair. You can watch me on your phone anywhere in your house. You can wash your hair. You're not gonna be on camera. I'm the only one on camera. You guys are over here, right over here. So you can schlep around the house all you want, wear your baggy sweatpants, no one will know. And uh enjoy the class. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um looking forward to uh that uh, thank you everybody thumbs uncle bruce thank you you got it carol um should be a lot of fun uh and educational too uh, and if you're into options you want to learn how options work you want to get a better handle on options you're not sure about whether you'll ever do a poor man covered call strategy it doesn't matter join the class you'll learn a lot about how options trade depreciate appreciate how they react we'll go over examples of stocks that we follow here and poor man covered call writing you'll learn and pick up a ton of info and you'll just go that's what he's talking about now i see now i, I get it now now like that's what they're talking about on his channel all the time that is why he has gold bagel members that's why these gold bagel members watch him every morning before he even goes live at 8 30 he has the update show he, he's telling him what to do with the covered calls oh i get it now okay okay now it'll all it'll start to make sense so that, that's what we're trying to do with these classes and if you have any questions you just fire away quite general check check them out she's the moderator so there you go how about that okay Anyway, there you have it right now. Where are we at right now? I've been on the air for three hours, six minutes. Oh, my gosh. i got to get off the air. We're, we're, we're down three, 693 on the Dow. We're down 112 on S&P. We're down 426 on the uh, NASDAQ. I wonder when I come back with an hour to go, will we have knocked half of these losses out of the way and we're going to knock the rest of them out of the way on a huge buy wave coming in this afternoon because we'll run out of stock? That could happen. Could be a lot of fun here. Uh, well, 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 you know, we'll see what's going on. And Splair, you got to, you got to write neat, neat, neat. You know what to say at all the right times. Uh, thank you all of you for joining me this morning. Uh, we're at eighty nine sixty six on GameStop. New low of the day, right at the moment, uh, making me hang out a little longer. Oh man, um, GameStop uh, 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 right now eighty nine seventy seven. Uh, at the moment, uh, that is what's going on. 89.77, low of 89.60 on GameStop. 89.66 right now on 2.57, just under 2.6 million shares. Uh, keeping an eye on the GameStop. What can I say? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Oops. GameStop says Beach Boy. Oops. 89.50. New low. 89.50 right now. Wondering with this market. We're down 760 on the Dow. We're down 123 on NAS, S&P. NASDAQ down 468. 
waiting for the flush out, the final flush out, and then see if there's a dead cat rally of some kind. And it could be that your GameStop will rally up to 100, 105. And that's where you rewrite contracts again for Friday, next Friday, whatever, Friday, after, and score some premiums and just stay on the sidelines and see if they give you another return. Uh, 89.53 last trade, 89.20 last trade, and 89.06 is the low trade of the day on GameStop. Um, uh, see you guys afternoon, says Arico. So hold the line. We'll see you, Arico, for sure. Uh, 12.04. Six on SoFi, 89.06 on uh, GameStop. That is the low of the day, 89.06. So where are we at right now? 89.06 on GameStop on 2.56 million. There will come a point where they will hit a juicy price that will create a buy wave that will overpower the sellers, and we will pop up here. And as option writers, it is your job to monitor that, check the volume against the price movement, and see how the Dow and everything else is doing with you at the same time. See if we have a, an opportunity to do another write on these contracts. 89.0678, 89.03 I'm now looking at. We're taking a shot at $89 now on GameStop. Can we break it? It hit 89 for a moment. Uh, we're still watching to see if 89 will hold or not. Okay. Uh, Nacho Conservo, we'll see this afternoon. You got it. Um, I'm glad I got calls on SQQQs. We are at 89.06. Uh, last low of the day, 89 even. And uh, we're trading uh, 89.02 right at the moment. 89 even is the low of the day. And we are watching this, uh, you know, this this development. Seven seventy six is the down price now. That that's how far the Dow is down now. Seven seventy six. Um, we're at a thirty three thousand four uh, sixty five. Thirty three four sixty five. The low was thirty three four forty four. So we're twenty one points away from the Dow. The lowest point in the Dow's uh, average today. And I think we may have just popped uh, a quick twenty points. Uh, we'll see. What's going on there? Um, not 100% sure. Dow 33,451. We're 432. No, we're still 19 points away. We're at the new low now. The Dow just hit the new low. We're down to uh, 33,440. 824 point drop. We've now had a new low trade on the Dow, which is affecting everything else, including GameStop at 88,41 with an 88,40 low trade on the day. Okay. Coyote, I got him at 88.88. I put in a buyer. I got him uh, 88.76 with an 88.40 low trade, 88.29 and an 88.25 low trade. The Dow now 33.437, uh, pushing the low uh, around here um, of the day. 430 is the low. We're right at that uh, that range right now, within 10 points of the low of the day on the Dow, down 831. Uh, GameStop 8841 with a low of 88.19, and now we're 88.21 right now. Uh, we're at the lows on GameStop as I speak. GameStop at lows, uh, session lows on 2.63 million, not heavy. Not heavy, which means a quick turnaround could happen. Keep an eye on this. Uh, 88.28 uh, on GameStop uh, right at the moment. 88.29, 39, 33. We're jumping arrow all over the place. 88.19 low trade. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Uh, SoFi, ATIP, Inspire. I got the trifecta. Right on, beast, beach boy, go Eddie, you beast, way to buy. Uh, 88.34 um, on uh, GameStop, the low of 88.19, 2.64 million traded now, 88.28. Over on SoFi, we're at 12.02, the low is 11.83, we've done 60,500,000 on SoFi. We're not doing the volume we did on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but... 1201 down 188 on SoFi. GameStop 8828. Uh, 8828. Um, and the low 8819. We're at 8820 right now. We're going to push the low going again. We might go lower. 
8820 right here on uh, GameStop at the moment. Um, 8819 is the low. Um, Joanne, I'll see you this afternoon. Thank you, Uncle Bruce, for a good show. You got it. Um, hey, Games of Bid 88. Will it get hit? Might. It might. 8825 uh, at the moment. Um, we're watching this stock right near its low of the day here. Uh, low of the day, 8812. New low, 8816, and falling again. The Dow down 847, SP down 134, NASDAQ down 509. We're at the lows of the day on everything. Uh, the sell programs are kicking in. 8803 now on GameStop. 8803.02 is the low. 8802 is the low. We're hitting all these stink bits down here and hitting going for 88 now. Okay. Um, yes, uh, Sean and Wendy, did you notice, Bruce, the cruise lines are down? Yes, I did. Yep, there's all kinds of news tonight. I'll be busy tonight. Um, 88.27 after hitting 88.02 for the low. And I think we're at 88.04 again. Uh, we might be uh, watching this closely here. We're jumping around a lot. Uh, somehow I think uh, SoFi is already at its low. 12.04 on SoFi right now is what I've got. 11.83 was a low on SoFi. Uh, GameStop, 88.46. Um, low trade, 88.02. The Dow down 823 right now. Uh, the low of the day for the Dow, 33,392. We're at 33,451. We've added almost 60 points on top of the Dow. So we're actually coming up a little bit right now on the Dow. Just, just, just a little. 826. So I guess we were down 882 at one point, or 886. We were down that much on the Dow. We're now down 818. 88.27 on uh, GameStop, 88.11 on GameStop. We're nine cents from the low of the day on GameStop. 88.13 now, um, 11, 12 cents away from the low of the day on 2.68 million, not heavy volume, on GameStop. 12.01, 12.02 on SoFi, 8.13 on Rocket Lab, Matterport, 9.10, ME, 4.01. Spire 204 ATIP three bucks. Smart Rent 668 Sixtera 1071 only down 15 cents. $88 right now on GameStop. 88 bucks. Um 87.90 last trade. Low trade now. We're at 87.90.91 right now on GameStop. We've gone below 88. And we're still going down. Uh that's what it's doing. It'll do it. Uh, okay. Uncle Bruce is gloriously awful today. Uh, GameStop, 87.90 on 2.7. Uh, 87.90 on GameStop now is the low. It looks like, yeah, that is the low. We're at 88 right now. Uh, Spire seems to be resisting going below two, says so trading up. Uh, go 100 shares at 88 for GameStop. Um, the pop-up, I, I got started. Rocket Lab touched 10% down. According to question in Chicago, this thing is going to correct and I want to see it all burn down, make it worth the price of admission so we can get, we can say we live through something. Sometimes you just sit back and watch the market. Exactly. That's what you do. 87.72 on GameStop. Lower. Lower again on GameStop. We're going down. 87.32. Low of the day right now. Just dropped again on 2.74 million volume. We're uh, we've just backed off a little further. Okay, uh, European stocks suffer their most damaging session in 19 months. Uh, Dow down 850 and the Nasdaq 500 as U.S. stocks revisit Monday's lowest levels. The Dow down 878. Uh, we've got uh, uh, S&P down 138 and Nasdaq down 526. Uh, the Dow. 33,350, the low of the day right now, down 914 on the Dow. We're down 914 on the Dow right now, and uh, we are still coming off. 87.32 last trade on GameStop. 87.31 is the low. 87.66 is where we're at. We're trading at uh, down 904 on the uh, Dow. Uh, we were at 33,350 for the low. 33,350. 
is the low of the Dow. We just touched it a moment ago. 144 point loss on S&P, 538 on NASDAQ. NASDAQ down 3.9%, S&P down 3.2%, the Dow down 2.6%. That's what's going on. 87.47 on uh, GameStop, 87.52, the low 87.31 on GameStop, okay? All right, there it is. I'm averaging at 12.80 on SoFi now, says Alberto. Nicely done, nicely done. 87.45, 87.66 on GameStop. A little better now, just a titch better. Um, the Dow still uh, near its low, 12 points away from the low of the day, down 9.02. S&P plunges into correction territory at the moment. Uh, NASDAQ is in correction territory. The Dow has yet to join the others. Um, there you go. 87.52 on on GameStop, 87.77 now, 87.31 is a low. Um, we've got uh, the Dow uh, now down again. It's 9.55 is the drop. Uh, th uh, 33,297 is the low. We're at 33,317. Uh, We're up 20 points from the low of the day on the Dow. We were down 9.67 a moment ago. Right now, we're down 931 on the Dow uh, as we keep getting pressure. Now down 944, now down 960 to 33,305, a new low. Just approaching the new low on the Dow here again. Uh, that is what I see happening here. We're going for a 1,000-point drop on the Dow. Just on the edge of a 1,000-point drop on the Dow. Home Depot holding a gain of a dollar. IBM down 480. Microsoft down 1574 to 280. Those are cheap in-the-money calls available out there. Apple down 566, also cheap in-the-money calls. Goldman down 14 bucks. Here we go again. Cheap in-the-money calls are coming our way. Cisco down 147 here. Facebook down 10. Amazon down 100. Tesla down 80. And Alphabet down 80. Deals. Deals are popping up, I say. I say, boy, boy, I say, boy, there are deals everywhere, boy. Uh, 87.65. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, they're down 924 uh, on the Dow right now. Oh, my gosh. Foghorn, leghorn. Uh, BW, 1,000 points today. Let's get the final flushing out. This is just a huge toilet plunger of the day. This got to stop at some point and then a snapback. Yep, but I don't know if it's today. It might not be until Wednesday or Thursday. We have to see if this, how deep this goes. But there will be one sooner or later. There's one, but we don't know how long they last. Sometimes they last a half a day. Sometimes they last two weeks. These snapbacks and everything else, it's anyone's business. That's why we got to keep coming back and keep an eye on it. 87.75 on GameStop. The Dow down 934. The low of the day on GameStop, 87.31, we're 87.70. So just about 39 cents all up from the low of the day. That's the dealio, man. Uh, $12 even on SoFi. $11.99 on SoFi. I love the old Looney Tunes. I know, me too. I love them. Uh, 87.75. Just watching a, a Looney Tunes cartoon the other day, but Bugs Bunny goes into the haunted house, just wants to get the telephone, but guy takes him to a room, and you can enjoy the room, and he reads a book about all these words for magic, magic uh, spells, and uh, he learns the word abracadabra as the guy is just about to get him, and he turns into a little bat, and. Uh, the uh, the uh, the bat is underneath a a, a rock and uh, he goes hocus pocus and he turns back into a giant guy with a rock on his head ready to nail Bugs Bunny when Bugs Bunny goes hocus pocus turns him into a bat and the rock <laughs> falls and he crushes the bat and you can hear him go hocus pocus and he comes up and he's wavering abracadabra <laughs> down he goes again hocus <laughs> you can't see stuff like that today. Uh, no way can you see stuff like that today. Oh, my gosh. Pocus, 
Kadabra, Walla Walla Washington. Oh yes, so much fun. Uh gosh, the good old days. Um, GameStop eighty-eight thirteen. A uh, little recovery, trying to avoid uh, going lower. Uh, 88.13 on GameStop, down 18.30. 88.06, low today, 87.31. Walla, Walla, Washington. That's right. Just got another 1,000 SoFi delicious. 12.04 on the SoFi. Deals, deals, deals. I want to reach out and grab you. Hocus, focus. Abra, Abra, Cadabra. I want to reach out and grab you. 87.82 on GameStop, 50 cents away from the low of the day here. Uh, no recovery yet. You look at the chart of the day, and it's just zzzz. We haven't got any kind of recovery going here. But I know you option writers, you are on standby. You are on alert. You are waiting for your moment to strike. I know. And we'll see how this reacts. Uh, down 8.32 in the down. We're coming back a bit. Uh, just a little recovery. 137 rec uh, down on, on S&P, and we're down 500 on NASDAQ. So a little better on those. Um, Abra, Abra, Cadabra. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my, my. Oh, my, my. So much fun. Thank you all for being here today with me. Uh, a little extra time today as we're trying to follow what's going on. Trying to stay on top of these markets. Uh, lots going on here. And we're just trying to kind of, you know, follow it all and uh, see how it's going to work for us. Thank you for the 582 thumbs up. So we only need 18 more to get to 600. If there's any of you out there who can throw a thumbs up our way, please hit that thumbs up button. Maybe you'll get us a little closer. We're down 814 on the Dow. I think we've come back 100 points uh, pretty quickly on the Dow. Maybe even more than 100 points. Um, and S&P down 133 and NASDAQ down 522. 584 thumbs up, 87. Now 587, 13 to go for 600. Uh, thank you, everybody. 589, 11 to go to get to get up to 600 thumbs ups. Thank you very, very much. Uh, yeah, what can I say? Uh, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, down only 786 on the Dow. We're definitely coming on here with a bit of a pop right now. Um, ARK Innovations, by the way, uh, trading at 66.34. The low of the day, 65.30. We've come up a dollar in the last 10 minutes on that one. Uh, that's a good sign. And um, let's see, 591 Ninjas crouching in strike position, ready to pounce this Chicago. Duncan, thumbs up, Bruce. Thanks, man. Uh, 88.75 now on GameStop. We've come up a dollar fifty from the low of the day on GameStop. The Dow's down 8.10, uh, so a little better there. Uh, SoFi 12.06, six cents better than where we were just a moment ago. Uh, watching a lot of stuff here. ME down 39 to 410. ME got down to 399, so that's a little better. Matterport got down to 906. It's now 923. Uh, Rocket Lab was down to 803. It's now 820. So we got some bouncing going on. Spire was down to uh, 201, now 205. Uh, Six Stara uh, was down to 1051 this morning on the opening. Right now it's 1082. It's down four cents. It's taking a shot straight up here. It's down four cents on 121,000 shares. Sextera could go green here any moment. Uh, Smart Rent was down to 661. It's now 675, still down 36 cents. And uh, so a little recovery there. That looks a little better. The Dow down 818. Um, and we've got uh, GameStop at 88 to 42, about $1.10 better than the low of the morning or of the day. Um, keep buying average down equals bigger returns, says Alberto. Uh, so by 1209, a little better, a little better again. Um, 88, uh, I think we got 8872 now on uh, GameStop, $1.40 better than the low. Yeah, the Dow, uh, 786 on the downside. Uh, it's about 150, 160 point improvement in not that long a time frame, but we're, we're hovering back at the nine, eight, nine, 800 level on the downside. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, folks, thank you for hanging out with me a little extra, a little longer today uh, as we're watching a lot of stuff here. 
We just got so much stuff going on here. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thank you. 599 thumbs ups. One away from 600 thumbs ups. And now we're at 601. Just like that. Thank you guys so, so much. It's fabulous. Fabulous. Thank you so much. Uh, so far, 1211. Hitting a low of 1183 earlier today. The Dow down again, 831. Uh, we're jumping around at these levels right now. Uh, that's what it is, and uh, that's where we're at, and uh, that's what we're dealing with. Uh, that's the dealio. 88.25 on GameStop. Mm, okay. All right. Okay, I got to get a rest. I, I'm fading pretty quickly. Guys, I will see you at 3 o'clock this afternoon uh, for the last hour of this day here uh, as we stay on top of these markets. Hang in there with me um, and keep looking for those bargoons. If you see GameStop, get a rally together, pushing back to that 100 level. Keep your eyes open for potential option writing opportunities. We'll keep an eye on this, uh, see what kind of range it wants to give us. Keep an eye on the big markets at the same time. Uh, 796 right now on the Dow, on the downside right now. 796 is the downside of the Dow. Um, a little... A little bit of improvement, eighty-eight, eighty-six, a buck fifty improvement on GameStop now, from the low of the day so far. Okay. Okay. All right. I will catch you this aft. Thank you, everybody. Um, appreciate it, Munamu. Um, I'll talk to you guys. I'll talk to you guys at three o'clock this afternoon with an hour to go. Go GameStop. Go eighty-eight, ninety-one. Go. See you later. <laughs>